Well, hello everyone. It's the typical Despair Sunday. You know how it runs, don't you? Every Sunday we get into the despair mode of the century. Well, that's one way to call it. Oh, my screen's all... Whatever, I don't care about that. Hey, no refund. Your money's been invested in monocoins, okay? I can't get it back. Monokuma promised me riches. Anyways, yeah, I know. Hey, Mike and Melanie. Sorry if I didn't do the um, Undertale stream yesterday that I had promised, but I decided to get involved in the Splatoon Splatfest. I can't say it was the most worthwhile of my time, but whatever. Anyways, what's said and done, we have to go into a show that will be happening very soon. Himiko and An An Angie, Angie, what do you want to say? Are both going to be putting on a show. A magic show. Let's see what they have planned. Also, I have a feeling someone's going to die in this part. Possibly. Now well, that machine's still doing something. Hi. Tsumugi. Tsumugi. Good morning, Tsumugi. Good morning. Are you okay? You look a bit sick. Yeah, it's just the sounds of those bugs buzzing is still in my head. Even after I went to bed, I just kept hearing it, so I didn't get that much sleep. That's... Ah, that must have been rough. <sighs> Gonta would be sad to hear it, but I like bugs even less now. I'm glad there aren't any bugs outside of Gonta's lab. Or wait, are there? Oh. Well, Gonta did say that he thought he saw a really tiny bug once. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did say that. But, but even with Gonta's 20 out of 0.625 vision, he can only barely see it, right? So, isn't it possible he was just plain mistaken? No. No, actually, I really hope he was mistaken. Oh, uh, I am so over bugs. I'm just going to forget last night and enjoy the magic show. You're right. Yeah. Oh, right. The show's in the gym, right? I'm going to go on ahead. Oh, will we enjoy the show? Hmm, I don't know. Anyone else around here while I run at turbo speed? I don't see anyone. All right, let's head into the school then. I'll pass anyone along the way. Yes, Melanie, I know you're here again. Unless you left at some point, I don't know. Hi, Kibo. Kibo. Good morning. Yes. Good morning, Shuichi. How are you feeling today? Are you still sore from the events of last night? Okay. Ah, uh, I'm fine. Are you all right? 100%. Yes, I'm fine. I recharged the electricity that I used on my recording function. Even so. I'm very happy that I was finally able to use my functions to help everyone. Kibo's recording function. It's not exactly revolutionary technology, but it did help a lot. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Kibo. You really earned your title of the ultimate robot. Well, of course. Oh, it was nothing, really. If you ever need my help for anything, please don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> yeah, I sure will. Um. So, the magic show is starting soon, yes? Everyone has probably gathered in the gym already. We should get going as well. Yes, I will, Kibo. Let's see if there's anyone else who is around to talk to as well. Oh, he's such a slow poke inside the school. I know if I went to the store, it would be like, no, you can't go in. You gotta go to the gym. Oh, I see you left for two minutes. I didn't even... I thought you were here all along. Well, now that's two minutes you have to give me back somehow by watching my stream two minutes over after I end it, even. Ah, uh, Kirumi. Kirumi. Good morning. Good morning. Everyone has already gathered for the show. Mm. Ah, is that right? I suppose everyone's looking forward to it. That is correct. Mew seems particularly excited. Her eyes were lit up like a child's. She's that excited, huh? Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited, too. By the way, it would seem that some outrageous events transpired last night. Hey! Yeah, Kokichi, Kokichi tricked Gonta into going along with his motive video scre screening plan. But thanks to Kibo, we put a stop to it. I see. So Kokichi truly does intend to oppose us. Please, no matter, ahead. let's go inside. Everyone is waiting. Kokichi! Oh. Here we go. Are we ready for this mm, show of some sort? The Amazing Himiko Magic Show. Whoa, this is even nicer than I thought it'd be. There's fish. Yeah! Welcome to our magic show. What do you think? Isn't it divine? Okay. Yeah, it is. I didn't think you would have a real stage set up. Did you and Himiko do all this? No, no. This would have been impossible with just two people. I got others to help us. 
Kaito and Kibo help carry equipment from the Himiko's research lab. I designed the stage, but Kirumi sewed the curtains. Thanks, Everyone is so nice, Atua deserves all the credit. No. Ah, shouldn't everyone who worked on it get the credit? Oh. Oh, well, I didn't ask you to help because I didn't know what you'd be useful for. That's... Did you really have to say that? I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, just sit tight. Once we're done preparing, we'll, <clears throat> we'll start right away. I went, my voice went cracking. Done preparing? You're not ready yet? Uh, yep. The star of the show needs to settle her nerves. The star of the show requires mental preparations. <laughs> oh no, wow, she really is trembling. She's shaking like a leaf. More like a leaf blower. Well, let's talk to people. Oh my! Tenko, you're trembling. I've told you many times that Atua loves all his creations. <laughs> what do you mean, all his creations? That's way too much love. What about Monokuma, huh? Does Atua love him too? Of course. So we must love Monokuma so that our love will reach him. <laughs> Shut up already! Robots can't feel love. They can't feel any emotions at all. <laughs> and yet, I felt a strange pain in my chest after you just said that. You know, lately, I've been having weird pains in my joints in my lower body. Are you okay? Isn't that a symptom of gout? Oh, well, that would be mostly in the foot area, wouldn't it? What is this? This is way bigger than I thought. I imagined a plain, everyday stage. I guess all the thoughts in my plain old head are just plain. 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 Hey, Gonta. How you doing? Gonta. Gonta, idiot. so sorry about yesterday. Gonta not know why he act that way. Gonta too forceful. Still have a long way before going to call himself true gentleman. Wait. It's not your fault. It's Kokichi's fault for tricking you. <laughs> Even General so, man. I think you need to seriously reflect on what you did. Your gullible mind will eventually lead you down the wrong path in life. Mm. Going to be more careful next time. Um. So what happened to Kokichi? Um. After insect meeting greed, Kokichi's mouth started to bubble. Then he passed out. <laughs> ah, I see. He might not make it to the show then. Oh, I guess that's good. Apparently you're excited about it. Yeah, it's a murder mystery. It doesn't seem like it, but once it starts, it really starts. What is this device? I've never seen something like this before. This uh, I'm getting excited. Really, really excited. Wow, she's excited, all right. So apparently you help too. Either way. We managed to complete the preparations in time. Hope everyone enjoys the show. Okay. You helped out too, Kirumi? Did you do the sewing? You complete every task that you're given, it, don't you? No wonder you're the ultimate maid. Right now, you're just an audience member like everyone else, so let's enjoy the show. Yes. Yes, I shall do just that. Hey, look, she's gonna kick back and relax for once. Hey, Tenko! Hmm. By the way, can I ask you something, Angie? Angie? Free. Hmm? What? Um, when you're alone with Himiko, what do you guys talk about? <laughs> oh, just normal things. So Food, sweets, our nails, how to get a Tua's bath water at a discounted rate. <laughs> the last one's not normal at all. Angie can be quite the handful. What if Miko can handle her? I think she can. They're both around the same height. Say. Those fish in the tank above, are those truly? Is it alright to use something so dangerous? Ooh, they're dangerous fish. Suspended seawater tank. A water tank? Looks like there's fish inside. Is this part of the trick too? Now, there's a lot of fish in there. I don't think they like it. Curtain. So there's all these ultimate people. Ultimate waifu? Well, that's depending on your favorite, I think. There's a huge curtain hanging here. What kind of magic trick is this for? I don't know if we've had the ultimate waifu just yet. Could it be? Nico, are you a bit nervous? Just a little bit. It certainly doesn't look like just a little bit. Because the magic I'll be performing today is an extreme water magic. Underwater escape. I've never successfully cast it before. It's pretty difficult, so I'm a little nervous. Huh? You've never cast it before? Mm. And today, in order to raise the stakes, there's a time limit. If I don't escape from the tank within the time limit, piranhas will be dropped in. Wow. Oh, that's pressure. I'll be pureed. Pureed? This is looking a little dangerous. The water is cloudy, so I can't see very clearly, but I do see fish swimming around. Those are all piranhas, huh? They don't look like normal piranhas. Hmm. Those piranhas are in my research lab. Angie said we should use them for the show. Uh, no. Wait, piranhas are way too dangerous. Uh. Tenko. Tenko! Please reconsider. They're piranhas. They're nothing like lasagna. With my magic. No need to worry. I'll instantly kill all the piranhas with my magic. Huh? 
you're going to kill them. I thought this was an escape trick. Himiko, are you serious? There's no way I can stop now, since the Tua's watching the show and all. No! There's no such thing as a Tua. Anji has brainwashed you. You that? don't believe in my magic? Well... I can do it. I'm a skilled young girl, cuz I'm a mage. Oh, she psyched herself up and headed straight to the water tank. Of course, I believe in your magic. You're my precious friend, Tenko. What kind of friend do you consider her? Okay, Himiko. Ready, Himiko? Did you say your prayers and use the bathroom? I said my prayers and went pee. <laughs> then let's get the show started. Time for magic. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. It's 12 to 42 a.m. You should have been sleeping four hours ago. Wow, you go to bed early. It's starting already, but not everyone is here yet. Maki, Kokichi, Ryoma, and Kaito aren't here. What, ha what happened to Kaito? I thought he'd be here for sure. I wonder if something happened. That's the question. That's the million dollar question. Thank you, Atua, for being with us today. Boo! Boo! You're supposed to thank <laughs> us first! Boo already. I present to you the mysterious, the miraculous, the amazing Himiko! The, the, the magic I will perform today is the extreme water magic. Extreme! As Monokuma would say. Underwater escape bag. Man, apparently I only have one viewer. Amazing how YouTube sometimes is broken. If you would please turn your attention to the water tank in front of you. When the timer above the stage starts, Himiko will enter the water tank. Once she's in the tank, her assistant, me, will draw the curtain in front of the tank. After 60 seconds have passed on the timer, a separate suspended tank will open and drop in Those a piranhas look piranhas. evil. Oh my goodness. After the piranhas for your end, on, yeah, sometimes YouTube's the broken. Is opened, if by some miracle Himiko has been gobbled up, please give a big round of applause. Yay! Gobbled up Himiko. Wait. Ja Ah, you stay up till 3 a.m.? Well, I should be done by your 3 a.m. Are you feeling alright? I'm right? concerned about Himiko. She's not responding properly to Anji's jokes. Mm. Gonta worry. Gonta have bad feeling. <laughs> Atua, please protect Himi. No! Wait, what am I doing praying to Atua? That's Anji's stick. <gasps> well, I guess you could pray to some other god. Yeah. Well then... Let's begin the amazing Himiko's magic show. What a what a performer! Well, in her typical high-pitched voice, Himiko made her announcement and started the timer. One minute. Then she took a breath and dove into the water tank. Wow, we're getting fancy CG in this game. Okay, I'm closing the curtain. Hanji closed the curtains, obscuring the water tank from view. He stared silently, waiting. I clenched my fist nervously, my palms damp with sweat. Himiko is still not out! She went in mere moments ago. Oh, half a minute. Well, do you think she's alright? Uh, Gonta's starting to worry. Should we do something? She, she still hasn't come 20 out. seconds left! Are you sure she's okay? Gonta can't take it anymore! Gonta cried out, leapt out of his seat, and... Wait, Gonta? Ran up to the stage. Gonta go dive in. But if Gonta does nothing, piranhas will eat Himiko. Himiko eat get. Wow, he didn't say that as the text said it. That was weird. Huh? Um, less than ten seconds remain. I don't care if it ruins the trick. Just come out. This stress is bad for I'm my sure heart. she's not in there anymore. Himiko! Right when the timer hit zero, the buzzer went off. Death. And then. The bomb of the suspended tank swung open, and the murky water and shadowy shapes shapes inside fell straight into the water tank Mika was swimming in. Huh? Huh? Look! Huh? The piranhas! Huh? Hurry! The curtains! Open the curtains already! It's magic! Got it! 
I'm opening it now. When Angie pulled apart the curtains, we witnessed an unbelievable sight. Oh god! All well, that I was not anticipating. We're almost dead. Wow. Um technically he got executed? Okay. I mean, I knew he was going to die, but it took a few moments for all of us to even process it. But then again, perhaps we weren't trying to process it. Perhaps we didn't want to acknowledge it. Ryoma was in the tank. What happened to... What? Yep, there's the murder. Great, huh? Behold, the magnificent underwater Eska. Well, yes, a body has been discovered indeed. I mean, there were a lot of witnesses to it. A body has been discovered. Yes, he's he is bones. Everyone, please gather in the gym. Hey, we're in the gym. Yeah. A body in the gym. Then when Himiko turned look to look back at the water tank. Yeah. She doesn't get per perturbed, does she? A thin line divides heaven and hell. Like, I knew he was going to die. I didn't think it was going to be in this chapter, necessarily. For the second time at the Ultimate Academy, a body discovery announcement sounded out. Those who weren't present at the magic show heard it and came running. What? What's going on? I don't know. I don't know what happened. We should break the tank, right? We gotta check what's inside. What? Break it? Yeah. Break it. It'll take too long to drain it by hand. Huh? But what would we even br use to break? Hey! Gonta! Keyboy! You're up! Huh? <laughs> yeah, ruin her magic show. What do you mean, we're up? So Gonta! Throw Keyboy as hard as you can. Use that robot like a battering ram. Who are you me. calling a battery ram? Battering ram. Gonta, throw Keyboy. Got it! <laughs> Then I'll help too. Please wait. Now wait just a second. We don't need to team up now. And boom. Wow. Oh, by the way, what about the piranhas? <laughs> well, they don't like robots, but I guess they're they're gonna die to, due to a lack of water. The sound was intense. All piranhas and water dyed red with blood rushed out. We watched helplessly as the area flooded with water. After some deliberation, we decided to start cleaning everything up. However, I made sure not to disturb the scene more than necessary. With Kurumi's expertise, we were able to clean up enough to start investigating. Um, I've gathered Ryoma's body and belongings in one place. Man, too bad Jevil's not here. He, he would be sad. He likes Ryoma. Even though we knew he was going to die. Pretty much it was guaranteed. I just didn't think it would be during the magic show. Because usually we don't witness an act of murder right on the spot. Kiba looks depressed. He was just used as a battering ram, so I understand why. However, He's been reduced to such that he can be carried in one hand. How fleeting and fragile life is. Mm. Going to put piranhas in bucket. Piranhas all got big tummies. Going to think they full. Ew. Today, Ryoma is fish food. And tomorrow, he'll be fish shit. Oh my. Don't say such things. Himiko? Are you okay? Is this... this wasn't an accident, was it? Does this mean the killing game has started again? Now, Himiko's gonna be a prime suspect, but I don't think Himiko... That would be too obvious, first of all. How? How could this happen? We swore to each other, didn't we? We swore we'd never let the killing game start up again. Why? So that was all just a lie. You guys are liars. All you liars. Apologize to Ryoma. He believed the killing game wouldn't happen anymore. Your disingenuous tears mark you as the liar right now. Did I get caught? Oh, you figured it out? You've got a pretty good eye there, Keo. Oh. Hey. hey, you guys. How's it feel now that you've got a second murder victim on your hands? Uh -oh. Huh? We're almost transparent. Has my X-ray vision superpower finally awakened? Rise and shine, Ursine. Rise and shine, Ursine. <laughs> Hi, guys. You don't have superpowers. He's just been reduced to a skeleton. 
Finally, I've been waiting for the killing game to start up again. That means we can put all this boring crap on hold and start playing the blame game. Nice. You're raring to go, Mono. Who are you again? Morosuke! You should at least remember your own kid's name! Mono feet, Mono Fanny, are you okay? Five, four. Are you counting, Mono Fanny? Why are you counting? Because three, I'm seriously two, gonna puke one now! Oh, you're making Mario Maker 2 level? No, that's fine. You can do what you want while I'm streaming. I mean, I don't know her magic technique. We know it's not her, though. But I'm just saying, in theory, her magic can go against her laser. I don't know. Anyways, puke. She puked again. What the hell are you doing, you failure? Listen up. We're here to make sure the killing game goes smoothly, capiche? Also, to keep me company. And new mascots present a lot of exciting business opportunities. Yes. Shut up, you failure! You. What? Me too? Yoo -hoo. Hey, hey! This conversation is fun and all. We should really get this over with. Don't we need to start investigating or something? All right. I'll get the culprit this time for sure. Herbin, give us this thing, the thingy. Okay. You mean the Monokuma file, right? I also investigated the cause of death this time, so read it to your heart's delight. Pops. Oh! This sort of unrelated, but I got a great business idea. Really? Oh. Yeah, that's totally unrelated. Got it. Let's use this Monokuma file to start a funeral service business. You know how it gets awkward at funerals when you start asking about the cause of death. And that's if we that. pass out Monokuma files, even the worst deaths will get a giggle out of the attendees. Well, well pops, what do you think? You're so, You're so cute. Uh, you know, <laughs> cute. When you pass out the files, it's just so cute. Why don't you come with me over here? Wait, Pops is gonna lick me all over. Hmm? Huh? Father's showing Monosuke with all his love? Hmm. You think maybe Monosuke's right? Maybe Father doesn't like us anymore because we're not hostile and threatening enough. That's a weird chicken sound. Maybe I'll follow Monosuke. The so long. Farewell. Wow, they weren't too happy about that. So then... In any event, let's begin the investigation. But... Investigation? So it's really going to start again? Actually... I can't believe it. One of us killed Ryoma. Someone among us. Oh, this no happened. more. Going to no one investigate friends. No one to suspect friends. Then... Then don't do it. I'm not going to investigate either. Huh? Huh? Sorry, I just gotta wipe my eye a little bit. There we go. Because. You'll be fine if you're short a person. I doubt a child caregiver could, would be much help. Huh? What's going on with you? Maki. Wait, Maki! I tried to stop her, but Maki didn't even turn around and kept walking. What was that? The fuck is that bitch's problem? She's seriously gonna not not gonna investigate? Incomprehensible. That seems rather irresponsible. Yes. She likely assumes someone else will take care of it. And I suppose she isn't wrong. But why would she say that now? She participated in Rontaro's investigation. Although I suppose Maki has been acting strange lately. I've been told she spends all day in her lab. What is she doing there? Jeez. Well, I'll have a talk with Maki later. Now we should start investigating. Always I'm seriously around. pissed we gotta do this. But it's our only chance to survive. Right? Yep, I'll do my very best too. Because... Gonta and I have to work especially hard so we can get, regain everyone's trust. You right. Oh yes, you right. But we don't even need to investigate. It's pretty obvious who the culprit is. Huh? What? Right? Ryoma was murdered during a certain little magical girl show, right? Mm -hmm. So I think we need to be a little more suspicious of that little ma magical girl. Uh, but... but she's so suspicious that it seems not suspicious. Yeah. What what is she doing? Right? But then again, she's made herself look not suspicious, so now she's super suspicious. Hey, Jeez, shut up already. How do you toy with Himiko's pure heart? You just said Himiko, didn't you? But I never mentioned her name. You gotta be kidding me! Ah, shut up, shut up! Himiko would never do something like that. I... I know her best. Right, Himiko? No. No? <laughs> this is the part where you agree with me! Anyway... Himiko, can you at least tell us the trick behind the Underwater Escape Act? Because... If we know how the trick works, we can try to figure out how the culprit killed... It's impossible. It's not possible. Huh? Not possible? Why not? It's magic. There's no trick to underwater escape. 
because it was my magic. <laughs> How long is that donkey lip midget gonna keep saying that? Um, hey, Miko, in order for us to find the culprit, it's plain to see we need your help. Cut it out. My answer won't change, no matter what you say. There's no trick to my magic, because it's magic. Seriously? How long are you gonna keep that bullshit up? Listen, if we don't catch the culprit, we're... That's already. enough! If Himiko says it's magic, then it's magic! I'll use my Neo Aikido to obliterate any degenerate male who bullies Himiko! What? I'm not bullying her! It's her fault she's being so stubborn! Hmm. Well, it's fine if you don't want to tell us. I'll just find out myself. Right? Yeah, well, that's it. Anyone who's the first suspect is never the final suspect. We know that much. Unless they're going to pull a weird twist on us where the first sus suspect will one day be. Actually, that sounds pretty fun. Okay. Solve this mystery. We must first learn the trick behind Himiko's underwater escape act. We must do it. Yeah. We have no choice in the matter. He's right. We have no choice. We have no choice but to find the culprit who killed Ryoma. This investigation is to save, us, save all of our lives because we're risking our lives in the class trial. I am curious about the cause of death. Was it the piranhas or drowning? The investigation start. Shuichi. You got a sec. Huh? What's wrong? I mean, before we start the investigation, there's something I got to tell you. You're my sidekick from now on. Huh? Your sidekick? You know, I'm more of a scientist kind of guy, so I'm not really cut out for investigations. But that's a good quality to have for an investigation. Listen up. Plus, the only stage fit for Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars, is the universe itself. <laughs> so I'll leave the details to you. Pave the path for my success. But, but I don't know what to do as a sidekick. Don't worry about it. Just, I'll just make the tough calls. You just gotta do what I say. He loves to make decisions on his own, doesn't he? I mean, so. Leave it to I'll me. I'll take full responsibility. Since you're my sidekick, there's nothing to worry about. Huh? Got it. All right, let's get started. First, we gotta check the Monokuma file. Uh, okay. He's acting weird. Yes, right. Kaido making hit me his sidekick like this. Could it be? I'm scared. I try hard not to be, but I'm scared. I can't stop thinking about the pain and sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. That's what I'm afraid of. Is he trying to help me? Hey! What's the matter? I checked the Monokuma file already. Uh, okay. Right. That's, at Kaito's behest, I looked over the Monokuma file. The victim is Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. The body was discovered in the gym. The cause of death was drowning. His body was consumed by piranhas until only bones remained. How long had he been in there even? No other injuries can be confirmed at this time. He was chained up and left to drown. On, what? There's less written here than before. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. The time of death isn't written here. Hmm. Remember. The previous Monokuma file indicated Rontaro's time of death, correct? Indeed. Doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. Victor's body discovered in the library. The estimated time of death is 9 10 p.m. Victor said, Okay, we don't need to know this. We don't need to know this. But Three foot five. He's a midget. How can he be a tennis pro? But the Monokuma file this time doesn't indicate the time of death. What? Did Monokuma mess up? No. This was intentional. Monokuma told us that he wouldn't give us any information that would reveal the culprit. But thinking about it that way. It implies that the information would be damning, damning evidence to, for the culprit. Ah. So that means the key to this case is the time of death. Well done. Ha! There you go. I knew I picked a good psychic. There's one more thing in the monochrome file that catches my eye. It almost caused a death. It says drowning. But if that's the case, we might be able to unravel the case from there. The monochrome file has been added. Right. Now that we're done with the monochrome file, we can get started on the investigation. My first command to my new psychic is... Investigate everywhere to find clues that will lead us to the culprit. He's pretty commanding, as I expected. Well, there's his body. It's a large water tank from the escape trick. The glass is broken. It's in bad shape. Come on, man. Do you guys really need to break the glass? Everything's soaked now. But well, if we had left Ryoma's body there, we wouldn't have been able to investigate. That's right. I guess it would have taken way too long to just empty the whole tank with a bucket. Okay. It was a lot of cleanup. It was a lot of cleanup, but at least we can investigate the tank now. There might be a clue around here. I should take a closer look. Got it. Yeah, you're right. It's handcuffs. Does anyone have handcuffs? Because we broke the glass, there isn't much anything left in the tank. But I should investigate the area thoroughly. There's bound to be something. 
Well, there's the body. And it's close. You almost... How? Did it not rip the clothes? Your most body is nothing more than a skeleton now. Not even a shadow of what he was. What the heck is this? Hey, is this really Ryoma? I didn't see the moment it happened, so I can't believe it. Uh, okay. I'm certain of it. Remember. Everyone watching the show witnessed it. We saw Ryoma become nothing but bones. Damn. Respect the bear's authority, huh? I can't believe he died in such a gruesome way. Well. Water filled with blood so fast we didn't see the whole thing, thankfully. The skeleton is unmistakably Ryoma's. I know he wanted to die, but he didn't have to actually go and do it. No. I don't think that's right, Kaito. Ryoma wasn't trying to die. He said as much. He was jealous of us, who wanted to live. Huh? What do you mean he was jealous? Hmm. I'm positive that Ryoma wanted to join us. That's why he needed a reason to live. So that he could have the same feelings we do. So that he could have the reason to keep going. To fight alongside us. <laughs> then, he was a real idiot. Who cares if you don't have a reason to live? Can't your reason for living be something simple like good food for your or your friends? <laughs> Damn it, that idiot. Alright. Handcuffs. Handcuffs? Why are there handcuffs here? Still locked. And there's small scratches on them. The cuffs appear to be stainless steel, so it's too hard to scratch. They must have been scraping against something sharp, hard or sharp. Huh? What are those handcuffs? Are they in the tank? I've never seen handcuffs in the warehouse. Where'd they come from? That's true. There weren't any in the warehouse, so where did they come from? If they weren't in the warehouse, another place that might have handcuffs is... Could it be... He's a prisoner? Ryoma's lab wasn't just for the ultimate tennis pro, but also for the ultimate prisoner. So perhaps some element of that was in his lab as well. We're gonna have to go check his lab out then. Oh really, so Kirumi decided to just sew everything up, huh? His belongings. Ryoma's belongings are all gathered together. His clothes, his monopad, the key to his room. That's it! If we use this key, we can investigate Ryoma's room. What's in this room to investigate? Remember. The motive video. We should find out whose video Ryoma had. Then, you think Ryoma was killed because of that video? No. I can't say for certain, but we should check, just in case. Although, he might have had my video. If that were the case, I might be a suspect. Well, no point in thinking about that now. You'd be better off at covering your tracks, for God's sake. It's a bucket full of piranhas. Gonta said he picked up all the piranhas and put them in here. I can't believe Gonta would do that with his bare hands. Ah, oh, wait. Yes, I can. I think that Ryoma is inside those stomachs. I don't even feel like eating them. You were gonna eat them. Um... I mean... I don't think she would sew anything back together because, you know... It's not cosplay. She only sews things for cosplay. Why would you even consider eating them in the first place? <laughs> only the strong can survive in this world that Atua has created. Oh, the least we can do is pray for Yoma's soul so that he may enter Atua's kingdom. Come on, man. Can you really go there looking like this? But, but... Those piranhas sure were a miraculous mystery. Maybe Atua was behind those videos too. Huh? What are you talking about? Uh... I noticed it right as the show started. I feel like there's more piranhas today than yesterday when we were preparing. No. More piranhas? Huh? But did they multiply overnight? There's no way they could reproduce that fast. But, but... But compared to yesterday, the piranhas looked super crammed into that tank. Ah, so they looked more crammed together. Dear, dear. The water was too murky, so I couldn't tell how many more piranhas there were. Oh my! But anyway, it was super, 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 super crammed. What a super, 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 super crammed. You sound like Junko now. Jeez, we get it. More piranhas than yesterday. There might be something to that. They really want him to be disposed of. Whoever it was. I mean, I guess I can't talk to her. Well, I don't know if the... The glass panel... Hmm. There's a square plane of glass at the bottom of the water tank. It doesn't look like a broken piece. The other fragments are far more random than this. It's nearly impossible for the broken water tank to produce such a perfect square of glass. And what exactly is this pain? Maybe it's part of Himiko's trick. Or something the killer used to hide Ryoma. Alright, so I wanted to see around the water tank. Cool. At least I know that much. There's a light panel. What is this? It is the control panel for the stage lights. It allows you to raise and lower the, the, the baton. Ah, I see. 
That's not a hint. Why, how did Kirumi get all the way up there? What is she even doing up there? I should investigate the stage. I'm sure there's a clue. That's a stage? I mean, I guess. When I stood on stage and looked up, the parade tank was directly overhead. It was set up so that the bomb would open when the timer had reached zero. Well, actually, technically that paint is... The, okay, no, that paint is part of the bottom of the piranha thing, holding thing. I thought that was also a possibility, but I didn't really know. The bomb is open now, and the tank is empty. It doesn't look as though it has a lid. I can see the ceiling straight through. And the only fr and only the front side is glass. The other sides are made of wood. So the piranha tank had no lid, and only the front was made of glass. Hey, so... Oh, yeah. The tank was from Himiko's research lab. Ugh. Hey, Kaito. You helped carry supplies for the show, right? Got it. Yeah, me, Kibo, Himiko, and Anji. It was all, it was a lot of work. But it, I just helped carry it. I wonder how they hung it from there. You know... It was a heavy tank full of water and piranhas, so it couldn't have been easy to put to lift. Yes. It seems this is where the lightning baton for the gym is attached. Ah, ah Kurumi. It the control panel on the side of the stage allows you to raise and lower the baton. It seems they lowered the baton, attached the piranha tank to it, then raised it again. I never knew lighting batons were sturdy enough to lift a tank like that. that is Since it was built to lift heavy objects, it is probably quite sturdy. Uh, you just missed the investigation so far. We're trying to figure out exactly what happened, and the timer here. This is the timer that was counting down this, the escape trick. I didn't realize it was also a timer to reveal Ryoma's body. Hmm, interesting when you think about it. Kirumi, what do you got? Hey. You were helping set up the show, right, Kurumi? Did you hear anything about the trick? I do not no, agree. I did not hear a word. Furthermore, my help consisted of sewing the banner and curtains. So I do not know the details of the trick. Well. I see. What about you, Kaito? All right. My first command to my new psychic is... Listen. Investigate everyone and find clues. Go okay, you already said that. I don't think there's much else here, really, unless the ladder. Yeah, okay, the ladder. There's a ladder here. What if it was used to set up the show? I, I mean, there's cur closed curtains up there. Is that where they got one of them? There's a curtain covering it, but I believe there's a window on the other side. What's the matter? What's the matter? You want to check that window out? Okay. Uh, yeah, but... Ah. Oh, it's too high up to reach, huh? Yeah, it's pretty high. Even higher than the piranha tank. Higher than the piranha tank? Yeah. That's right. There was a ladder next to the stage. I'll go get it. Kaito quickly headed off to the, off the, to the stage. He returned carrying the ladder that was set up beside the stage for over his shoulder. Hey, so but you know, shouldn't the psychic be the one bringing the ladder? Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose so. Thank you. After setting up the ladder on top of the stage, I climbed up the rungs, and to reveal, you can just barely reach the window with this. And if you open the curtain, oh, the window is open. Uh oh, it's like he was thrown in. If the window's open, does that mean the culprit used it? Cover may have gone in and out through this window. So what's on the other side of the window? I can't see. The much, pool, isn't it? But I think it's yeah. the pool. Okay, so the pool will be a hint. I heard we had one here somewhere. Alright, let's check it out later. The culprit probably went through there. Oh wait. What is this? Mm hmm? What's up? Nothing. It just looks like marks on the window. Well, that would explain the cuffs then, I guess. The window frame has distinct abrasions, perhaps scratched by something. This might be related to the case, I should remember it. The cuffs! That explains the cuffs. I climbed down from the ladder to the stage. Hey! You done investigating the window? Now I'll go put the ladder back. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you, Kaito. Jeez. Shouldn't the psychic be doing this? He complained, but he still put the ladder back for me. I mean, he's the detective. I was investigate everything I wanted to on the stage. We're all done here? Let's go! Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, what else do we have here? I guess the people. How can this be? Ultimate Swimmer? Actually, yes, in the first game there's an Ultimate Swimmer. But we don't have in this game. That was the first game. Gonta could have saved him. No, Gonta should have saved him. What happened? Gonta, what's wrong? Yeah, he saw Ryoma, actually. <laughs> and Piranha's attack Ryoma. If Gonta had dived into the tank, then Gonta could have helped Ryoma. Gonta too scared. He got scared. Too scared to do anything. Gonta, sorry. Idiot. Gonta, really sorry. Come on, man. man shouldn't apologize so easily. 
Maybe if you had jumped in, they just would have eaten you too. That's true. And from what I read in the Monokuma file, you could have had you couldn't have saved him anyway, Gonta. Huh? Really? Did it say that in the Monokuma file? You know. You haven't even read the Monokuma file yet? Gonta no. not smart. Gonta not really understand it. Gonta not smart enough to be help. What are you talking about? You've got the time to apologize, you got the time to read the file. If you think you can't help, then work till you can. That's what you can do. You're right. Nope, she didn't die. In fact, she lived the longest. <laughs> One of the longest. She almost fake died in the anime. And then, you know, anyway. That's right, Gonta. You're a huge help. There's some information that only you know, after all. Huh? Information? Only Gonta know? Remember. During the show, you went up on the stage? That was about 20 seconds before the prize dropped, right? Mm. Yeah, because Gonta worried about Himiko. Could it be? Did you see inside the tank? Did you see Himiko or Ryoma? No. Gonta see no one in tank. Gonta kind of surprised. Hmm. So, okay. He drowned in the pool. Okay, so here's my philosophy right now. He died last night, probably. He was dead already. Then, that window was open. So someone who probably wasn't at the show, then when Himiko disappeared, threw him at some point at the same time as the piranhas dropped, most likely. That's my hypothesis right now. That's really the only thing that can make sense. If the window's open, and the time of death would confuse everyone, I guess, and it would point to specifically someone who wasn't in the room. Yeah, basically, that's what I'm going to say this. So he was dead last night. I mean, I don't know. Or he died this morning. The time makes a difference, but most likely... There would be no reason for... Since he wasn't there when Gonta looked, we know that he didn't drown in there. It, it takes much longer than 20 seconds to drown, I think. But if Gonta do nothing, we could get eaten by piranhas. Huh? That's why he saw no one in there. But you know. Anyways, whatever, whatever time it was, he died probably a while ago. That's what I would say, at least. He, he, either really early this morning, or sometime yesterday. I can't tell you right now, but yeah, it's the only thing I can think of. When the piranhas were dropped and the curtains opened, Yuma was in the tank, right? Um... Yeah, that right. Anyways, don't tell me if I'm right or wrong. I'm making my hypothesis right now. I'm talking mostly to Kron Krona. But yeah, I forgot about the pool alarm thing. Unless they were broken. Yeah, that right. So... Like, what did Ryoma get in there? You didn't see it happen? Oh. Gonta don't know. I want to see Ryoma in tank when piranhas drop in after that. Sorry. Sorry, Gonta should have watched tank better. Like I said, a man should apologize so easily. Um, yeah, you're right. You know, but this is a problem. Now I'm even more stumped. Even if Himiko disappearing was part of the underwater escape act, how did Ryoma get into the tank? Was that part of Himiko's trick? I'm positive that mystery will be an important point of this case. Gonta's account has been added. Uh, I'm gonna need Himiko's account probably. My magic was supposed to make everyone smile. Himiko! Don't worry. Everyone is smiling! Uh, I don't think any of us can smile right now. Um, Himiko, is all right, all right, if it's alright, are you ready to talk about your underwater escape trick? We need to understand how your trick works if we're going to solve the mystery. What are you There's saying? There's no trick to my underwater escape act. It was magic. Come on, man. Yeah, that is for sure, pork chop. It's the only thing that makes sense, really. The uh, piranhas were dead. I... The reason why there would be more piranhas is either to just make sure it was really chewed up, or possibly as a distraction? I'm not really sure there. No, we don't have an ultimate hacker. We already had the ultimate programmer in the first game. <laughs> Everyone you're thinking of is in the first game. You're still saying that? Do you understand the situation we're in? Stop it. No matter how much you guys threaten me, my answer won't change. It was magic. Huh? But... Protect you. Okay, your time's up. Q&A session is now over. Yeah. Unless you want to feel the full volcanic wrath of my Neo Aikido. Jeez. Man, this guard is more strict than the security at the idol events. Well, we ain't gonna get anything out of her. We'll definitely want to talk to Angie. Angie. Ah, that's right. We need to see... Oh, that's right. We need to ask Angie about the stage. Also, no one would be... If someone hacked, Monokuma would get suspicious. What? I w okay, it's Angie. I wouldn't remember if it was Angie or Angie. I want to ask you some questions about the tank. Or the stage. 
Yep, I was in charge of all the art. I even built the paint and painted the stage. Then, then do you know anything about Himiko's trick? How it worked, perhaps? No. No, I don't know the trick. Himiko only said it was magic. I see. I suppose she didn't tell Anji Angie the secret either. Uh, oh, and by the way, you asked other people to help with your preparations, right? Uh, yep. Yep. We started the paperwork yesterday. Lots of people helped out. Like when we were moving the heavy tank and the stairs from Himiko's research lab. Yeah. Me and Kibo helped with that. The tank had a pulley, but because it was so huge, it was still a lot of work. Right, right. And I asked Kirumi to sew the, sew the curtains because I hate sewing. Thanks. So basically, it's all thanks to Atua that the show is a success. Nah. No, it's because of all of us. Was it really a success? Uh. By the way, were the piranhas your idea? Because. On its own, the underwater escape act is no different from a normal magic show. So divine. I thought it would make the show more exciting and divine if we used piranhas. Atua. Okay. Maybe you should go watch my uh, Let's Play of the first game on uh, the channel because uh, then you can get caught up on what's going on with uh, Danganronpa. And it's all available. There's Danganronpa 1, Danganronpa 2, and then Ultra Troll Despair Girls, but that's a slightly different game. I'm also re doing an anime reaction on a different channel. That's what Atua told me. So Atua gives you that kind of advice too, does he? Um, and about the Piranha Tank and the Timer. Those are from Himiko's lab, correct? Of course, yep, of course. yep. According to the Piranha Tank's manual, it's synced up with the timer. When the timer goes off, the bottom of the Piranha Tank will open automatically. I see. That means that most of the equipment came from Himiko's lab. And then? And right when we finished the paperwork and we're about to take a break, <laughs> Gonta captured us so we couldn't rehearse at all. <laughs> when Gonta let us go, it was already nighttime so we couldn't go back to the gym. You know. Oh, yeah. We can't enter the gym at night time. Yeah, yeah. So we decided to come to the gym today before the morning announcement. Thank you. Himiko and I were waiting for the gym to open. Oh, I was so relieved that the, the set was intact. So no one could have snuck into the gym before those two got there. Ah. What's up, Shuichi? Are you worried because of the, this confusing incident? But Don't but... worry. It'll be fine. Huh? What? Atua has spoken. We have nothing to worry about. Huh? Nothing to worry about? No, no. Nothing can escape Atua's sight. Not even the culprit. I mean, you don't have to do it. You don't have to watch it right now. But if you ever have time to watch it, I mean, not literally right now. If you ever, because I won't be streaming this for you know a week, so you have a whole week to watch my previous streams if you want. That's what I mean. When you're bored and have obviously your favorite channel right now, probably not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was truly a divine force to be reckoned with. Angie is starting to sound more and more creepy. Okay, so here's the other thing. Anyone who was in Gonta's room that night is also not the killer, I'd say. I mean, he has nothing to do with anything right now. So who was in that room? We had Gonta. We had you. We had... Did we have you? I know we had uh, Tenko. Himiko was there too. Gonta, like I said. Not Mew. Angie was there. I think. Kurumi wasn't. Yeah, she, well, that's what, I mean, if I'm working on an assumption that someone had to do something, like, before the nighttime in the gym, that's the only thing I can say. I mean, that's just an assumption I'm coming up with. Mew, did you design anything? Hey! Hey, Flemwad, there's something I need, to, need you to tell me. It's not a very polite way to ask someone for something. You know. It's got nothing to do with the incident, but I heard Gonda captured you guys last night. <laughs> what the hell was that all about? I was running around, so I got no clue what happened. Got it. Oh yeah, tell me too. I was also running, so I still don't know what went on. How did Mew escape from Gonta? She's not strong enough to fight him. Why you? Chop chop, you slimy shit. Uh, well, um... I suppose you could say that Gonta was tricked into kidnapping us. First ones to get captured were Kibo, Kyo, Tsumugi, Tenko, and I. All right, so. Kibo, Kyo, Tsumugi, and Tenko, and uh, Shuichi were there. Himiko and An Angie were brought in there. So those are all the people who were in that room that basically rules them out as a culprit. Huh? The gym, right? Okay. Exactly. And Kokichi left the room ar after around 9 p.m. Kokichi's probably also safe for now. So he must have been brought in about five minutes before that. I remember we were right. all forced to participate in Gonta's insect meet and greet. We were freed about an hour into nighttime, around 11 p.m. So from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., everyone there had an alibi. And then those people without an alibi are Kirumi, Maki, and Ryoma. 
You idiot. <laughs> I see you've learned what an alibi is, thanks to the previous incident. But what the fuck is this insect meet and greet bullshit? <laughs> Why? By the way, Mew, how were you able to get away from Gonta? What? Oh, <laughs> well, um... I uh, had to use my secret woman weapon. And let's just leave it at that. Huh? Secret woman weapon? <laughs> you seem embarrassed about it, though. Wait! Oh no, Shuichi. Hey, what's this secret woman weapon? <laughs> she trying to laugh it off. Come on. Shuichi, man. let's just leave her be. Listen to her, it will just tire you out. You're right. You're probably right. Perhaps it's better to get the truth out of her at the class trial. In oh wow, there's everyone with an alibi, pretty much. Well, not not really. Kind of, but not really. So, Kokichi, I don't know, do you have any it's not Gonta again? Don't think once no one is surprised. Rob, blah, blah, blah. Here. Kokichi, I want to talk to you. Hey. Well, not really. I'm glad Himiko made this game more difficult. Now I won't be nearly as bored. Right. Time to work hard to solve the mystery. Get ready, culprit, because here I come. Well, we didn't learn anything. I guess not. However. I never would have imagined such a cruel murder happening in at such a fun show. Why did the culprit commit such a barbaric act? Did they wish to see us panic? No. I don't think that was the sole motivation. There was some other reason for it. And that reason must be related to Himiko's magic show somehow. I see. So that means the culprit knew of Himiko's trick and made us use it of it, made use of it, yes? That's true. Did Himiko tell someone? Someone who thinks the trick is actual magic? Well then. Since the show was used, we must investigate the trick as well. Kyo murmured something almost to himself, but then walked to the back of the stage. Is there anything to investigate backstage? Um, Let's follow him. We should investigate the entire area anyway. We follow Kyo backstage. What's he looking at? Hello! What's with this rope? This is a pretty long rope. What was this used for? I presume it was to suspend Ryoma somehow? I guess maybe it's roughly 65 feet in length. You can tell just by looking at it. That's also a long rope, I think. You copy all the names that are kidnapped just in case? Thanks for that. I am well versed in ropes. I once visited a village where their use was commonplace. When it was time for me to leave, the women of the village all begged me to stay. I find that deeply disturbing, but I have to focus on this investigation. Anyway, what is this rope? Could this be related to the case? Well, duh. Oh, don't even take this evidence? Uh, sure. What do you have? Listen. Since the show was used for the murder, we must investigate Himiko's trick as well. Perhaps there are clues here. Uh, stairs. Like stairs? The staircase goes up to the top of the stage. At first glance, there's nothing particularly suspicious about it. There might be some trick to it, but only a magician would know. Or that only a magician would know. Uh, you're saying all these things, but you're not really collecting any evidence. Is there something here? No, let's decide after we search it. it investigate anything that stands out. You say that, but... Does the water puddle count? The puddle, okay, fine. Why is the water back here? What? There's a puddle behind the staircase. This isn't a puddle from when we broke the tank. The floor around is completely dry. Perhaps someone who was wet was was here doing something. That's true. Changing wet clothes. But but how would you get from the water tank to this space behind the staircase? Could it be? This may be a vital clue for understanding the water underwater escape trick. Well, would that be when Himiko was uh, maybe with her clothes? Is that it? You think there's still things to investigate, and yet is this where the rope finally comes into play? Very long rope. He was about 65 feet long. Anyway, what is this rope? Can this be related to the case? It's not even added in. What am I supposed to investigate right now? The window? I already did it technically. Hey. I know we just saw it, but the window was open, right? Yeah. And the pool's on the other side, isn't it? Let's go check it out later. The cobra must have gone in and out of the gym from there. And in addition to that. The window frame has distinct breaches, but yeah, yeah. Alright, check the window! What do you want me to check now? I literally can't 
I checked the stairs. I checked the rope. The puddle of water. I can't move anywhere from side to side. Okay, the staircase goes up to the top of the stage. It's very close. I can see that some places on the sides are wet. This might have something to do with the puddle next to it. Is that a clue? Okay, the water tank. Fine. That's a water tank. There's nothing strange about it from behind other than the large size. It's a normal tank. All sides of the tank seem to be made of a special type of glass. I see no hidden doors. The staircase might have a door. How about that? <laughs> Very mysterious. How, I wonder, did Himiko escape from the tank? That's right. Well, if we figured it out easily, it wouldn't be a magic trick. However, I believe that if we figure out the route Himiko took, we will discover how Ryoma got in there. That is true. There's a high probability that they used the same route. Reveal how Ryoma got into the tank. I need to reveal how Himiko managed to get out of it. Are you sure about that? Okay, good. He's done with the stage. Hey, so. Hey, how long are you going to investigate here? Still got to find a culprit, you know? Come on, let's go. Kaito. Yeah, I find that something. Yeah, it might be evidence. Let's take it. Hey, at least we have a detective this time, I guess. Uh, Smoogie, I don't think it's gonna have much help. Tenko, even less. If Amigo doesn't tell us how the trick works, we won't know how Ryoma was killed, right? But with the way she is, how do we convince her? Oh, what if Ryoma was a former apprentice of Himiko's master and vowed to revenge on him? And he murdered a lookalike of himself in order to sabotage her show. Yeah. Or something like that. It's happened before, probably. Ah, sure, whatever you say. And go. Hey, Yoko says it's magic, then it's magic. Got it? I use my Neo Akito to obliterate, obliterate any degenerate male who bullies Miko. Okay, you're not helping. You are not helping. Kibo, I think you're one of the last people to talk to. Um. Although there are many unknown variables, the first thing we need to make clear is... When was Ryoma murdered? Well, in the middle of the show, obviously. The culprit knew how Himiko's trick worked and took advantage of it to kill Ryoma. In other words, everyone watching the show isn't suspicious. But... Kaito, you didn't attend the show either, did you? Well, that's... No, but I'm still not suspicious. I forgot a promise, so I was just eating breakfast. Got it? I'm not suspicious! Oh, I do not understand how that explanation is supposed to convince me. Kibo does have a point. Indeed he does. I believe we've investigated everything we need for now. All our investigation is over now, so who's the culprit? No. I can't say for certain yet. There are other places I need to investigate. Come on. What? Man. Still don't know. Never thought detective work would be such work. So where else do we gotta investigate? That's first the pool next to the gym. They're connected by the window above the stage, so that needs to be looked at. That's true. After that, I wanna go to Ryoma's room and find out which motor video he had. Then I wanna investigate the Ultimate Tennis Pros Lab. I've deduced that the handcuffs were found in the water tank probably came from there. Is that everything? Ah. Last of all, the ultimate magician's lab. Want to know more about Himiko's trick? If we go there, I'm sure there'll be some kind of clue. Hmm. So we still got a lot to do then, huh? Good luck, Shuichi. After all, it's going to be you doing all the heavy lifting here. You're right. Ah, right. Don't screw around. What do you mean, all right? Are you saying I'm useless? Is there a right way to respond to that? Well, I guess I can... Head to somewhere. We got a lot of places to go. See if I even get to the trial at this rate. Probably. I mean, it's already been an hour around, though. Okay, first and foremost, I guess I'll do this by order. So, the Ultimate Tennis Pro's room, I believe, is on the second floor. Actually, can I just warp to it? Let's find out. Uh, actually, the closest one is actually Himiko's room, so I guess I'll go there first. Oh, I have Kokichi and uh, Tsumugi in there. And of course Kaito. So this is Himiko's research lab. What what were we going to investigate again? Hmm. The trick that Himiko used in our magic show. I need to figure out how it worked. You know... Well, you say that, but what if it was real magic? No tricks or mechanisms. That's... Well, that would be a problem. It's not just about the trick. I need to ask that guy some questions. That guy! This guy! Kokichi! Oma! Shuichi. Do you want to ask me something? Okay! I'll tell you anything you want to know! You are my favorite after all! By the way, that's a lie! 
When he says that, it sounds like he means the opposite. It makes me nervous. Hey! I do, actually. It's about when we were kidnapped by Gonta yesterday. You stuck into our rooms to steal our motive videos, right? But is that all you were doing? You came back pretty late. I see. You want to know my alibi for nighttime yesterday? That's a good question to ask. The gym is off limits during nighttime, so Ryoma was probably killed before or after. Which makes nighttime yesterday so suspicious since everyone was doing their own thing. Hey! And what were you doing then? It'd be easy if I just explained step by step what happened while I was out last night. After you regained consciousness, Shuichi, Gonta, oh Shuichi, Gonta brought Himiko and Anji. And that was about 5 minutes before 9pm. Right after that, I left Gonta's lab and head toward the dorms. I thought I'd be back in an hour, the start of night time, but something happened. Huh? Something happened? Hmm. Right when I got to the entrance hall, Kurumi spotted me. That was right after I left Gonta's lab, so it was right around 9pm. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking if I was up to no good. Then she started criticizing my behavior and lecturing me on my manners and relationships. Hmm. Can you believe that? I mean, who does she think she is? My mom or something? Well, everyone's been kind of treating her like a mom. You know, yeah, well, I mean, there's always a... I know there's always a double murder and it's usually chapter 4, so I guess that's not a spoiler technically. If I remember Didn't you ask me. Kirumi to be your mom earlier? So she just kept talking. If I let me go at 10 p.m. when that time rolled around... Huh? A whole hour? Well, only the first half hour was the lecture. Then we played tag for the other half. <laughs> she was starting to bore me, so I turned around and to leave, and then... Please wait. Stop right there. Our conversation is not over yet. I don't gotta listen to you. You're not worthy of lecturing the ultimate supreme leader. Come on, Miss Maid. Catch me if you can. That is... is that a request? <laughs> so that means... And then, I guess Kumi decided to take tag super seriously. I tried my best, but in the end, she caught me a little before 10 p.m. Then she started lecturing me again. Let me go when nighttime started. So, so do your alibis still hold up even when she was chasing you around? Maybe. We ran to each other a bunch of times, so yeah, it should hold up. Then from 9 p.m. until nighttime, both Kokichi and Kurumi have alibis. <laughs> After Kurumi let me go, I finally went to the dorms and collected everyone's videos. I'd, by the time I returned to Gonta's lab, it was already 11 p.m. And from 10 to 11, he doesn't have an alibi. Ah. Oh yeah. I did see something odd while Kurumi was lecturing me. Huh? Something odd? I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. It was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. I wonder who it was. A girl in her underwear. What the hell is he talking about? Kokichi's account. By the way. Did, you didn't get captured by Gonta yesterday, did you, Kaito? Where were you? And what were you doing? Okay. I was running around the whole time. I hid in bathrooms, bedrooms, all over the school. I see. Hmm. Alright, Tsumugi. Hmm. What are you doing here, Tsumugi? Uh, well, I'm investigating. I know I'm playing, but it's plain to see I'm investigating. Uh, okay. Is that so? Hey, so? So, did you find any clues? Uh, I'm still thinking about that. Hmm. I don't think you can uncover any clues just by thinking about them. No. No. In fact, I still haven't found anything. <sighs> then get to it! Look around is how you is how you find clues. Hey. But I think leaving that guy alone is just plain bad. So we give Kokichi a meaningful glance. Hey. So I decided to plainly keep an eye on him. That way, even plain old me can help out. Well, her plan is to look after Kokichi for some reason. You think that I'm thinking way too much about this? Or hit oh him. I mean yeah, that's the thing. They tend they they do kind of create expectation, but we already learned that they do mess up the expectations just a little bit. But one water tank is gone, I know that much. It's a huge water tank. Looks like the one that was used in Himiko's show. So... Looks like the same tank Himiko used in that show. That's exactly what Shuichi said. I guess this one was a backup. That's what Himiko told me in Kiba when we carried the, the tank out of here. Then... then perhaps we can investigate this tank. We can learn the secret of the trip. Encouraged, I began walking around the tank. I was looking for anything that could be a switch or a mechanism. Hmm. What's this? Hello! There's a segment of the tank near the top that opens up, but why open up there? Ah, oh, wait, perhaps it, it isn't random. This segment had to open up here. Okay, now I get it. I see the perspective now. It opens like at the top, but wasn't the water... How would you escape and not let the water out, though? That's the only thing I find weird. What else am I looking for here? That's related to the show. I don't remember the piranhas being here. That's where I have my trusty.
Okay, hold on a second. I gotta read your thing here. You're saying when you were playing... Well, no, because we, we, you already know what happens in here, so... I mean, whatever. Anyways, I don't think the saw has any relevance. What a huge saw. It's probably used for the saw a person in half-trick. Jeez, is that gonna get used later for some reason? I don't even know what else could be relevant in here. No, I mean, what is this? Body swapping? Okay. Hey, wait a minute. Where are the birds? Oh, they're there. <laughs> this is a birdcage. I might fit inside this. This has nothing to do with the case. Wait! This is a birdcage. I might fit inside. Good going. GG. I really don't know what else can be a clue here. There was a sword stabbed into the human-sized box. If there was a person inside, they would come out just fine. That's the trick, I think. I know it has nothing to do with the case. But what else can I check? I don't think body swapping helps. This is, is this used for magic tricks too? I've seen it in magic shows before. It has nothing to do with the case. Nothing here has anything to do with the case then. There can't be anything. No, not F1. Enter. Enter. Thank you. Okay, yeah, there's nothing else here. This game's extremely non-responsive. Holy shit. That was me hitting the enter key if you didn't hear. Jesus Christ. I feel like leaving a review of this game just because... Just to complain about how they made it. How is it possible that they made it so unresponsive? Okay. We gotta go to the tennis pro's place. Like, the games are... Like, the first and second game were made great on PC. God damn it, man. This way, I might as well just demanded a refund and played it on the PlayStation 4. I could have borrowed it easily. Because I know someone has it. Because, I don't know, the Steam version is really pissing me off right now. Actually, I should read the reviews of it and see if anyone else had this issue. There's got to be something wrong with this. Is it up here? Uh, it might be a bit higher, if I remember correctly. There it is. Alright, you two. What are you standing around for? Where are they? Oh, they're over here. Oh, I see. You're probably going after, uh... Hmm. What, are you, what are you doing here, Kirumi? Do you agree? Well, I, we all agreed to investigate with at least one other person present, yes? As she spoke, she glanced toward Maki. Hmm. Ah, so you're staying with, staying with Maki. Got it. That's good thinking. Hey, once we're done with the trial, can I get a massage? May I? But of course, since you are here, Shuichi, may I ask you a question? Time of death was not provided, so I am questioning everyone in order to determine it. What do you think? When was the last time you saw Ryoma alive? Uh, right before I was kidnapped by Gonta yesterday, around 6 in the evening. So... Last time I saw him was way before then. I didn't see him at all yesterday, actually. Then. Then you are fine, Kaito. But the point is, the last time someone witnessed him alive. Hey! The last time someone witnessed Ryoma alive. That is correct. Gonta was the last one to see him alive at around 8 p.m. yesterday. Ryoma managed to avoid being captured by him by using his sh... shoot... Shukuchi method. I actually remember that now. He was also he ran away. Yo, Sophia G. Uh, that's what I feel like in, in PC. I'm having so much trouble sometimes just getting the text to like activate and to move. I don't know what's going on. Like I said, the the first two games and also welcome to the stream. The first two games were great on PC and I liked it, but this one on the other hand, there's something wrong with the. Uh, Try to detect if I'm clicking something sometimes. So Ryoma was still running around after I got captured. Yes, of course. Furthermore, three minutes earlier, you saw Ryoma as she was fleeing from Gonta. Hmm. In that case, Gonta's testimony is highly credible. Yes. We at least know that Ryoma was alive yesterday until around 8 p.m. Could have put his death at around 9 p.m. Ish. If we assume it was last night. And she just disappears. Whoop! Nah, nah, I don't want to go into her. Hey. Maki, what are you doing here? Um, Earlier you said that you weren't going to help us investigate. 
Were you serious about that? So what? You'll be fine, even if I don't help, right? You're the detective, not me. Or do you think you can solve this case on your own? Uh, um... That's completely different. This is... <laughs> That's pretty harsh. My psychic is working his ass off. Huh? Psychic? Got it. Yep. Should we choose my psychic now? Hey. Shouldn't it be the other way around? The dumb one should be the psychic. So... The dumb one? I'm more of the scientist type of guy, so this stuff really isn't my thing. Well... Wouldn't being a scientist be helpful for an investigation? You know... More importantly, why have you been here the whole time? Is there a reason? Like I know. Why do you care? No. Because it's been bothering me. You've been here in here ever since this room opened up. Almost as if you're keeping watch, making sure no one else enters. Don't Is this an interrogation? No. No. That's not what I'm trying to do. I just want you to talk to talk to me, Maki. If this has nothing to do with the case, please tell me so. Hey. It's true that you don't have to help us if you don't want to. Is that all right? We should at least cooperate with our investigation. Because. Because all of our lives are on the line. Is that so? If I did cooperate, I wouldn't be in any help. Mostly because I've been in here for the last several days. I've only gone back to my dorm at night to shower, including last night. Hey. Then can I ask you? Then I can ask you this. Did you see Gota at all last night? Gota was searching the grounds last night, trying to capture all of us. Why? How were you able to avoid being caught? I see. Gota did stop by, but I managed to chase him off somehow. All I did was tell him, if you lay a hand on me, I'll feel choked to death on your own tongue. That's all. Hmm. So if Gonda got scared off by that, well, I guess he would hold back against the girl. If I listened to Maki's testimony, a question grew in my mind. Why did Maki not want to leave so badly? What reason did she have for that? Hey. Are we done here? You're wasting your time talking to me. I don't know anything. Ah. Okay, I'm done here. Huh? You are? That's right. Well, her alibi is a little shaky, but I don't think she killed Ryoma. That's what my instincts are telling me. I gotta take a drink of water while she's doing uh, three things. Hey, so if she's keeping children in there, but if, you, but if you remember anything, be sure to tell Shuichi, okay? I believe in he's you. my psychic, you know. He's pretty good. In the end, the only thing we were able to get out of Maki was that she was here the whole time, but no one else can verify that testimony. That might be a problem later. It's not her. It's not Maki. She has no reason to kill anybody right now. Or ever, I would think. Nice 8-bit looking door. Alright, tennis room. That's the closest I can get. I mean, maybe he's a bit like Hero. I don't know. But is he, as, he has to be more than 30% right to be better than Hero. Alright. Oh, hey! Go to Tennis Pro's lap. I'm right then. The handcuffs that were found in the tank came from here. If the handcuffs came from here, that means the culprit was here as well. They may have left a trace of evidence. Hmm. This room is a little different from when we were here before. It feels off. What's the matter? What's the matter, Shuichi? No. Uh, nothing. Anyway, let's figure out the handcuffs. We should take care of that problem first. Yeah, but why is the net down? That is weird. That would be in that section, obviously. Something here is definitely off. Like, those carts are weird. I don't know if they were there last time. Oh, jeez. It really is a prison. First time it's the first time I've been in here. It's a shower room, but it feels less like the ultimate t tennis pros. And more like the ultimate prisoner's lab. Hey, so... Do you think it was made that way on purpose? Did they remodel the shower just for that? Okay. Yeah, I think they did. Ugh. Jeez, monoko has got bad taste. Well, we already knew that. Well, obviously one of the cuffs is gone, so someone was in here. There they are, the handcuffs. Um, look, Kaito, handcuffs hanging on the wall. Oh, they look like the ones that in the tank. Oh, wait, are they the same? Because... I think so. Here, look. Remember. See? One empty hook. The handcuffs we found must have been hung there. That means the culprit was definitely here. Uh, well this... Well, I mean... Okay, that was... The sink. This is a pretty big stone sink. You can fill up a lot... Fill it up with a lot of water. Hmm. Hmm? What's this? Hmm. Scratches on a stone. Like something was scraped against it. So... Was he drowned here? In his own room? 
Oh, that changes everything. You're right. What made them? Hmm. These scratch marks are clearly not natural. They must have been made by some kind of metal. So they drowned him. Yeah, the the invisible guy. So they, they filled that up with water, and this, I would assume then the handcuffs could be because of a struggle, because there's a lot of them. That means that the other one would have been... Basically, they would have gone from the pool and maybe dragged him. And is that why the cuffs scratched that ledge, maybe? Anyways. Let's okay, it must be made by some kind of metal. That is interesting. Well, that's looking more like he was drowned in his own room. There really isn't much you can look at in here. A window. I don't know if that's helpful. Actually, that is kind of weird. This window has no vines or barbed wires or bars blocking it. Does it go anywhere? And there was that one window I could see from the pool area. This is probably where that window. I should open it to make sure. Oh, well, why was this? Why would this be a thing? The window you can see from the pool is the window to Ryoma's lab. That is bizarre. A pool. Wait up. We're on the third floor, so we're pretty high up, yeah? You did it just right. I think you could jump right into the pool from here. And I saw a raft. Okay, so this is getting more complicated. You're right. Yeah, and you can swim at any time other than nighttime. But it's set in the school rules, and the rules of the pool are area as well. Ah. I see. Well, I don't want to swim, so that doesn't really affect me. Huh? Wait a sec, what's this? Huh? huh? Hey, so Look, there's weird scratches on the window frame. Man, they just dragged this guy all over the place. Also, apparently I saw something about a lazy parallel world. Okay. Alright, play more Mario Maker 2, and you'll be back when you get back. The trial is where it's most interesting anyway. You're right. There are definite abrasions here. Also, apparently I'm still only at one viewer because YouTube's being poopy. These marks are similar to the ones that were on the gym's window frame. I could attempt to uh, refresh YouTube to see my real views. Unless it's still broken. Sometimes YouTube is finicky. Alright, three views. So it was a little bit off. I'm positive these marks aren't a result of opening and closing the window normally. This window frame is sturdy as well. The gym's window frame was the same way. Looks like it would hold, even if with a lot of weight on it. Shuichi. Now do you understand? Right, Shuichi? Huh? What? Got it. How amazing I am to have noticed such a super ultra important clue. It's all in a day's work for Kaito Momata, Luminary of the Stars. I mean, I found a pretty important clue too. I won't say that. I think that's it for this area. We came here to confirm my suspicion about the handcuffs found in the tank. But we found even more important clues than I expected. Together with the fact that this is Ryoma's own lab, there are too many points of concern to be more coincidence. It must be important evidence. Hey! It seems like you figured something out. You seem more confident. All right. Then, on to the next place. There's no point staying here. Okay. Right. I wonder if he's gonna have a realization of something at some point. Because he seems to realize things very early on, but doesn't like to say, Man, he's like Shulk! Hey, so, so where should we go? Whoa. Oof! As he came out of the shower room, Kaito tripped and fell on the ground. Hold up. Hell? Something caught my leg! That's... Ah, looks like a cable. What? Ah. Is, is this for a tennis net? Man, whoever left this here should have put it in the corner. Wait. Tennis net? Hmm. I see, so that's why this room felt odd. I should investigate this in detail. You couldn't have just done it, now huh? you gotta make me investigate the net. Hmm. The reason I thought this room felt off is because of the net. When I came here last time, the tennis net was up. Okay. But now the cable has been removed. Huh? So, like, someone took the cable off? Why would they do that? Hey. Kaito, can you help me? I want to measure how long this cable is. No need. It's about 50 feet long. Huh? What? Ah. Oh, I was in the tennis club till middle school, so I know how long the cable is. Uh, you were in the tennis club? That's right. That's why it pissed me off so much that Ryoma was acting like that. Hey. Did you know Ryoma from before? Ah. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. You know. I mean, these days, there's no one who's played tennis that hasn't heard of him. He's been a tennis legend since middle school. He was like a hero to every tennis kid. Jeez. And then once I finally got to meet him, he became a coward. That pissed me off so much. I ended up being too hard on him. Damn. But regretting that now won't help. There's nothing I can do. So... 
So what's suspicious about the length of the cable? Did something about it bother you? No. Nothing specific. I was just checking. Hmm. So detectives get bothered by small details, huh? <laughs> like an overbearing mother-in-law dick-picking a young wife. Uh, what hmm. is that analogy? Tennis net cable has been added. Alright, cool. There's really only one place left to search, I think, and that's Ryoma's room. Which I am going to warp to. I'll see someone else I can talk to along the way. I've already been around here. Oh, and the pool. I forgot there's also the pool. How do I get to... Fine, I'll go here, because it won't let me get to the other one. I didn't want to be behind here anyway, but... A backyard! Oh yeah, I know, I remember this, where this is, I think. Maybe, I don't know. Puff, 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 puff. Boxes? Where are you going with that? It just clips right through everything. I don't think they even care. How far can this guy go with the boxes before he just maybe loop will turn around? A body has been discovered. Oh no. Where's he gonna go? They just march us back and forth. If he goes through the wall, man. Okay. Alright. I think it's just gonna repeat. Okay, I don't even care anymore. I'm bored. Cool. Right, the water here is a bit too low. Wait a minute. We have a... What? Okay, we have a tire. And we have an inner tube. Pool. Bits of fabric. Huh. Huh. Something else floating in the pool. Hmm. Looks like a little piece of fabric. Jeez. It's just trash, right? Nothing to be worried about. You know... I'm looking for the culprit. We don't have time to pick up trash. Uh, okay. Yes, but... Perhaps it's just my intuition, but it does bother me. I should learn to trust sometimes. My intuition as the ultimate detective. That could be from either Ryoma's clothes or from the culprit. Inner tube. There's an inner tube floating in the pool. Looks like a big sturdy rubber one. Yeah, he didn't get drowned in the pool, man. I forgot the water's way too low for that. So he's drowned in his sink most likely. Yeah, that is... You mean that game? Well, um, anyways. Yeah, you're making things up anyways. But that game that was, like, made... Fake game. There's an air tube flowing in the pool. Looks like a big, sturdy rubber one. Let me guess. Some idiots didn't clean up after themselves? Oh, jeez. Let me guess. No one's been in the pool, right? Don't look at us. I don't like water. I prefer juice. We get heavier when our cotton absorbs water. It makes us a nightmare. I want to play in the water with everyone. It sounds fun. Ah. You know, Moto Dam might be onto something. I kind of want to go in the pool now. Okay. Yeah, who cares about losing weight? <laughs> you idiots! We're not here to play. We're here to smack these bastards into the pits of hell. We're the Moto Cubs. The meanest, nastiest, cruelest mascots around. Dumbass. You don't get it? I'll throw you all into the pool myself. <laughs> Please don't. Monosuke, please stop. Can't we all just get along? What? You say that we don't get along, I'll end up like Mono Kid. So long, <laughs> that was a distraction. Hmm. Getting a Mono Cubs list tier list? Probably not. So then, if it was one of us that put the inner tube in there, if it was one of us that put the inner tube in there, not the Mono Cubs? Well, it doesn't matter. The inner tube probably isn't related to the case. Isn't related to the case? Or just there for playing around, then why is there a rope tied to it? What could that be for? That is intriguing. You know, so they wouldn't drown, and it's not a hint, apparently. Alright, pool. This doesn't look like a normal school pool. More like a pool at a resort. The pool is deep, but it isn't filled up all the way. Still, plenty of water to swim in. The water level hasn't changed, but I can see something floating in it. Yeah, the fabric. How about we look at the window, then? See, look, window. You can see the gym's window over there. Ah. That's the window we investigated from on top of the stage of the gym. 
I mean, it's pretty high up. You wouldn't be able to reach it with just the ladder. Uh, okay. I agree. The ladder only barely reaches the window, and it was on the stage. Hmm. If that's the case, then it might have been hard for someone to have gone through there. Okay. Yeah, you might be right. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, they climbed up <laughs> this thing here. How about Ryoma's window? There it is. That's the window to the shower room in Ryoma's lab. Okay. What's all sparkly in here? Pool. This thing, the rule sign. Some pool rules are posted here. There's one particular. Also, there are some specifications written here. Pool is 82 feet in length, blah, 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 bothering me about the pool rules. They say... Hi, Monokuma. Oh, no jumping into the pool, especially at nighttime. Whoa, where'd you come from? I mean, jumping itself is fine. If you want to jump in front of a car or on a tr or a train, that's on you. The pool is off limits at nighttime, see? No swimming at nighttime. That would be a violation, right? Anyone violates the school regulation, a campus-wide siren will blare. And then that person will be ripped apart by the exocells. You, you'd go that far? Well, so far the siren hasn't gone off, so no one's need to be ripped apart. Yet. Um, <laughs> Since that's the case, can we assume no one was in the gym or pool at nighttime? Well, at the very least, no one alive. uh -huh. Well, no swing at nighttime. That just might play into this case. So, no one alive. Which means that a dead person doesn't count, apparently. That is bizarre, but interesting. Storage room door. This is the pool's equipment shed. I'll take a look inside, just in case. Huh? Is that... An electric air pump? I see, you could easily fill a large inner tube with this. There doesn't seem to be anything else worth inspecting. Hey, so hey, Shuichi, does this pool really have anything to do with the case? We got all psyched up about it, but it doesn't seem like there were any clues here. But well, that air tube is still bothering me. I don't know what it tells us, but I feel like it's related to this case. But you know, if that inner tube is related to the case, the culprit is pretty careless. If it was related to the case, why didn't they clean it up? So Just leaving it sitting around like out like that? Don't you think it's straight up careless? No. Even if they wanted to put it away, they couldn't. There's no pole or anything around here that you could use to get the air tube. Remember, the wire level is so low, you couldn't grab the tube even if you did manage to bring it closer. But you know. Then why not just jump in and fish it out by hand? Also, I know the text was slow to load for some reason. That's right, we couldn't get in the water. Couldn't get in the water. Yes, I suppose you could think of it that way. You know. Well, we can't stay here forever, right? Go check out the other places. Right. There's no time to waste. Isn't that right, Psychic? You're right. Yeah, sure. Inner tube. Not a clue, apparently. Amazing. How is that even possible? Run, Shuichi, like the wind. Run, Shuichi. Have I even seen you anywhere? Unless she's still in the gym, I don't know. Alright, Kaito, I know you're gonna bother talking to you because you probably say the same thing. Alright, Ryoma's room. And. This is Ryoma's room, huh? So where's this video? I don't see it sitting out anywhere. Can he put it in his bookcase? Kaido opened up all the drawers one by one, checking each of them. Huh? That's weird. I can't find it anywhere. I see, so we can't find it. That's alright. That's a clue in itself. What do you mean? You see, if we suppose the motive for the crime was the video, there's a high possibility that Ryoma had the culprit's motive video. Remember, If the motive video was left at the scene, they would be immediately suspicious. There's no reason the culprit would leave behind that kind of incriminating evidence. Ah, That's true. Okay. The video is not in the room, which means... It. It's just like we thought. That video was the motive. Okay. Yes, that's the best explanation I can think of. That's my sidekick. Alright, that's just what I'd expect from my top sidekick. Remembering that one? 
Shuichi. What's the matter, Shuichi? No. Ah, uh, nothing. So... By the way, I was thinking. Now, actually, hold on a second. Welcome back, Melanie. Monoko's rule indirectly allows him to kill the ultimate swimmer just for existing right at night. Maybe. If she's in the pool at that time, I mean. I guess, but that wasn't a rule in the first game, so that doesn't matter, does it? Um, who says the Monocubs put the videos back to where they originally were? They could have gone remixed up again, couldn't they? Maybe. But I was thinking. I mean, Maybe we all should watch those motive videos after all. Huh? What? Nah. They showed the most important people to us, right? That's right. So maybe we should have watched them, without looking away from the truth. I mean, at the time, I agreed with Kibo. After thinking about it, I changed my mind. That's right. And if we were worried about watching them alone, we could have just watched them together. Uh, watch them together? Got it. Yeah, we should have gathered together and watched all the videos. Share everybody's motives. Even if it's something you can't bear by yourself, it'd be possible with everyone. Yeah. That's what cooperation is, right? Uh. That's what Kokichi was trying to do. Hey. Kokichi was trying to get us to participate in a motive video viewing party of sorts. That's why he forced us into the same room. Hmm. Do you think that was his way of cooperating? Do you think the same way? Nah. Now, if that's what he wanted, he could have just asked us. Jeez. That's what a normal person would have done. But the thing is, he's not normal. That's right. Maybe he didn't want us to cooperate. There's no way to know for sure he, he'd never tell us. That's true. It's possible to know what Kokichi is thinking. But I suppose he could have been acting in our favor for once. Well, we know what time it is. Already tired of investigating? Oh, you've been tired of it for a while now? Haha. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. Investigations aren't all that fun, you see. Only the class trial is fun, I guess. But it's a necessary step before we can move on to the main event. Kind of like searching the internet for that perfect porno video. Hey! I didn't find that yet, okay? Don't spoil me for what my perfect porno video is, okay? It's actually of you, Monokuma. In fact, some people think the search is the best part. Weird, huh? The class trial is starting soon. Please gather at the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. I mean, I guess there's a reason why they don't have you show see all the videos. Maybe it's just because they would have had to make extra, extra effort. <laughs> see you later. Bye-bye, Monokuma! Shuichi. Looks like it's time, bro. Uh, okay. Yeah. Dumbass. Hey, why do you look so worried now? Don't worry about it. You can do it. I believe in you. Believe in me? Why? Why do you trust me, Kaito? There's a chance that I'm the cult. I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? Huh? What? Listen up. Isn't that why you believed in Kaide? I mean, sure, I might be, get betrayed in the end, but I if I worry you. about that, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. Shuichi. We're still young. I can't die before I've had my first drink or gone to space. Let's do it. If you're not going get your, to get yourself in gear now, then when? Now's all you've got. Yeah, that's Kaito, right. Kaito, I know. Keep your chin up. Yeah, that's the expression I want to see. Heh, <laughs> that's my sidekick. He's right. I just have to do it. I have to believe in myself. I have to believe that I can do this. I'm going to survive. We're going to survive together. That's it. Maybe I don't really understand it. Maybe I don't have a reason. The hunt thing. I don't want to live. I want to die with everyone else. No. I want to live. I want to live as a long life. I don't want to die. I can't die in a place like this. Never. What, did they all come here to die then? Is that the twist? They didn't want to live? And then somehow they end up being forced to live? Go again. Don't worry about it. You can do it. I believe in you. Now let's go to the Shrine of Judgment. Oh yeah, it's the opposite way. I almost forgot, because it's been a while. Oh yeah, there's a new a whole area over here. Kaidezio would have been a, a huge gut punch, especially if Shuichi got instead of Kaido's. Well, it's just they don't have to think of a motive video of their dead. That's like Ran Rantaro. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
You believe in me. I last time someone believed in Shuichi, they ended up dead Kaito. I feel like that's a running thing going to be happening. Oh yeah, muscle Kuma. Everyone! Is everyone ready? <sighs> Not like we have choice, right? <laughs> you are quick to understand. This dumb Monokuma has trained you. We got Why? nothing to worry about, right? Assholes? We'll figure out the culprit, won't we? Don't worry. Of course we don't need to worry. The top suspect is super obvious this time. Hey! Right, Himiko? <laughs> How dare you bully Himiko? You degenerate! You want me to Aikido chop your head off, huh? Wait! That's not even Aikido anymore, is it? Either way. This matter will be discussed in due time. You should save your arguments until then. That's right. Yeah. Let's put an end to this at the class trial. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. Let's at least talk to Sh Him Himiko. Shuichi's mobile is actually Kaede. It was recorded between the first two cases. Oh. Wow, look at her go. Really? She'd been gyrating. This whole thing is shaking like a big old vibrator. Okay, good going. Himiko's scared. Poor little thing. This vibration is perfect. Quit looking at Himiko like some kind of degenerate. Like some kind of degenerate male. That's all you could think about. Kokichi! All right. This case would be so easy, especially with how obvious the top suspect is. Right, Himiko? Mm -hmm. I hear males pick on girls like they they like to get their attention. She's Kokichi must like Himiko. Oh? Huh? How'd you know? <laughs> Actually, why don't we focus on the class trial and save that conversation for later? <laughs> this is turning out to be not so boring after all. I don't know, Kaito. I don't feel like talking to everyone else. Listen up. Shuichi, before we head over there, let me give you some advice. Hero to Psychic. If you want to give up, wait until after you've done everything you possibly can. Wait, no. This, that's still no good. Okay, I won't forgive you if you give up. You got it. Okay. Yeah, got it, Kaito. He's right. I can't give up. I made a promise to Kaede. It's always about Kaede, 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 Kaede. Is he ever going to give that up? And there it is. Your appeared before us with pomp as the setting he heroes off to war. After a pause, we all step toward the door. We were silent. All I could hear was our unsteady breathing. Just as we passed through the door. Elevator, go down! Start it up again. Normally, I wouldn't mind sh the shaking. I'm feeling especially sensitive to it now. Each of us felt that trembling through our through our entire bodies as we sank further still. Without sure footing, I'm positive I would have fallen as well. My breathing was becoming more ragged. My heart pounded harder and harder. Just when I thought I would pass out from the nerves, the elevator came to a stop. This wasn't the end. No. It was only just the beginning. Welcome! You've been hopelessly you've hopelessly arrived once again. Hmm? Did you want to come here again because of how wonderful it is? Isn't it wonderful? I put so much effort into building this place. It should be a monument. Aww. Actually, we're the ones who used the exercise to build this courtroom. The father just took all the credit. Wonderful. But I am happy. To be used as a slave by father. What are you saying? You idiots are really committed to this henchman bit. So you guys are just so cute that I can't help working you to the bone. <laughs> you put a lot of elaborate detail in this courtroom. Almost like it's for show. Oh. For show, huh? That's an interesting way to put it. Hmm? Is this just for show? Are you showing this to the people outside and... <laughs> Those people aren't with us, so you don't need to worry about them. Get it? They're not with us. As in, they're no longer with us, you know what I mean? In other words, you 13 are the only ones left in the world. Now, show me just how you intend to bargain for your lives. <laughs> only ones left in the world, huh? Then, the class trial began. Yoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. After falling from his former glory, he told us he had no reason to live. But even so, he said he wanted to fight beside us, to get out of here with us. 
For that, he was trying to find a reason to live. He might have been a little stern, but he wasn't a cold man at all. And the person who killed him is here right now. Well, at least they've marked red the people who are dead. I want to believe that it's a lie. I don't want to believe it at all. But this is where I find the truth. I won't avert my eyes anymore. This is the wish she entrusted to me. Yeah, look, she dead. I will find the truth. To get out of here with everyone alive. I'm going to survive. I can't die here. In order to keep my promise to her. Why are you so obsessed with her, though? I will fight. I'll fight for my life in this trial of truth and lies. Uh, yes, I will save the game, actually. I'll do probably at least half the trial. Mm, save it here. Yeah. Alright, well, I don't think I have any skills. Actually, I do have skills. 16, so what do we got? It's lost in thought. So that increases the time limit in each phase, effective during all parts of the class trial. That would be helpful. Downshift, slow the speed to the reticles, effective during non stop debates. Can't be combined with upshift. Effective during. Uh, whatever. Increase the delay after using truth bullets or truth blades. Effective during non stop mass panic and rebuttal showdown. Man, it's always worth a lot. Focus gauge drains slower while concentrating during fever time. Effective during all parts of the class trial. Slow recovers to the influence gauge while concentrating and during fever time. Effective during all parts of the. Wow, that's almost cheating. Probably good for me though. Mine's Saint Miko's ability. Signs us all conversations except those the reticule is on. Effective during mass panic the base. Actually, that sounds good. Oh. Yeah, sure. Oh, I have to purchase them and then put them in. Oh, that's what Oh, they cost the fragments. Where's my fragments that I have? I have four. Hold on. I have four left, actually, so I can't buy certain ones. It... It ruined Mass Panic Debate for you? Really? Hmm. Well, I don't know. I mean, I could take it out, right? If I really wanted to? So you think St. Miko's ability is not good? I don't know. I have it just in case. Safety first. Removes the time penalty for breaking a non erasable piece. Back up during the imagination excavation. What the hell is imagination excavation? That sounds like something I haven't done yet. Ta Psyche taxi? What? Are these things I haven't even heard of? Hangman's gamut. The entire screen will lay up more frequently. Effective during Hangman's Gambit version 3.0. Mm. Oh, Keyword in the first speaker's argument. Instantly silences loud voices. Effective during the mass pack debate. Hmm. I don't know if I want to buy anything else. I'll just head out like this. Alright, what do we got here? Evidence. The handcuffs. The piranha... The glass pane. That was the bottom of the piranha tank. The piranha tank. Marked window frame. Contest account. Insect. Meet and greet. It shows all the people, basically, who were there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight out of the thirteen people are already cleared. Yeah, I know. I guess it does cancel out the whole reason to have that. The wet staircase could be part of when Himiko came out. Kokichi's account. Oh, well, you know what? Let's go into it. Begin class trial. I didn't really afford much else anyways. It seems like it'd be really, really helpful. Ahem. Now then, let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is. 
and vote for who done it. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, everyone gets donuts. I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate from this academy. Also, refusing to vote will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. Hey, we got a death wish. Now, let's get this crazy, awesome, crazy awesome to the max trial underway. That's a lot of crazy awesome. I think we all know who the most suspicious one is. It's. Let's combine our power and work together, everyone. I knew Tenko was gonna interrupt her. Him. Come on, let me go. Thank you. Um, the <laughs> person who's most suspicious is. She's not gonna let you get it out. Energy, everyone, so we can catch the culprit. Because the murder happened during the magic show, the culprit can only be. I'm in top form today. Well, we're getting nowhere fast. Tenko, why are you interrupting me? We can't have a good trial if you talk over me. I am supreme leader. Huh? I'm not interrupting you. Ooh, that face again. Whatever you have to say is probably worthless anyway. Because all males want to talk about is S E. Miko uh, seems suspicious. <laughs> wow. You came right out and said it. Hey, Angie, how can you accuse Miko? Aren't you her friend? Um, I'm just telling you what a tour is telling me. Oh, that's what a tour is telling you, eh? Huh? He is using his divine knowledge to show us the way to survive. You should thank him, lest he pour his holy wrath upon you all. Oh, that sounds menacing. Screw Atua! That guy's got nothing on me! Oh, ho, ho. oh, I don't think you're innocent, though. I've done oh, stuff. I but mean, I don't think your love is pure. Ryoma died during Himiko's magic show. Yeah, well, that was just a cover. His body appearing in the water tank leads one to think the escape trick played a part. Very unlikely. It's only natural we suspect Himiko. She but of course, we always have to have someone at the beginning to take the bait. Not the bait. No, that's wrong. The underwater escape wasn't a trick. It was, yeah. Magic. magic. It's not the part you need to deny. You gotta tell us you're not the culprit. Magic, huh? That's so cool. What a mysterious miracle. I forgot I could do this. Why is this a thing again? Did you kill Ryoma, Himiko? Atua will hear your confession. Yeah, she sure is on the dot on this one. Stop it! There's no way any of that is true! It's true, though. Himiko used the underwater escape trick to kill Ryoma. But... Eh. But I still don't have a clue how Himiko did the trick. Anyways, let's let the trial go. There's no trick. That really was magic. You know, maybe it really was magic. This is good if you repeat it three times to listen to every window because then you have clean dialogue. Clean dialogue. Stop it. If you don't reveal your trick now, then we'll vote you as the culprit. No, that's wrong. Oh, they do have the same one? Uh, it's hard to tell because they really did change it quite a bit. As I expect, the others suspect Himiko. But I have my doubts. I can't let this case get derailed by misunderstandings. I'm the ultimate detective, so it's up to me. He didn't have to seem to have a hunch this time. Break, 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 break! What am I breaking this time? Uh, square pangle. Jesus Christ, I didn't even get a chance to read that. The culprit used the underwater escape to pull off a sneaky switcheroo with Ryoma. After that, the time ran out. Mm -hmm. The tank about Ryoma opened and piranhas came pouring out. Oops, I did not, not mean to do that. I know! Oh shit, I hit the wrong ones. Savage way to go. Mm hmm. No, that's wrong. Oh, that's wrong, huh? The underwater escape was no trick, it's magic. Sure, I agree with her. Heard you the first time, Titless. No one cares. 
titless? Holy shit. Noah's body was eaten by the prize that fell into the tank. That is a fact, but that doesn't mean it was the cause of death. That's what I was thinking, it had something to do with the cause of death. The Monokuma file. That's what I think it is. Yeah. After that, the time ran out. Mm-hmm. The tank above Ryoma opened and piranhas came pouring out. I mean that's true, yes. And he was in the water. Okay, good. I am right. Wrong. I didn't shoot for the V, damn it. No, Ryoma's death was not caused by the piranhas. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can lie here? Oh, I could have lied and said it was the magic trick. I, that's kind of hard to figure out. Amazing. Lying little brat! Telling lies is what turns you into a degenerate male! Oh, well... Gr women are known for their lies. Ryoma drowned, Himiko changed places with him, and then the piranhas ate him, right? Okay, what was that to help her out with? No, Himiko only had 60 seconds to escape from the tank. Even if they changed places at the start of the show, that's insufficient time to drown someone. But robots can't drown, they only malfunction. If that is the case, then when did he drown? When did Ryoma drown? It was obviously... Before the show started, obviously before the show. <laughs> I mean, duh. Ryoma was already drowned before the show started. Most likely in his sink. Agreed. You laugh like a snake. Before being eaten by the piranhas, he made no attempt to escape. Yeah, usually when you drown, you struggle. To be precise, he made no movements whatsoever. By that point, he had already joined the ranks of the dead. I can now learn about his culture, because I only study the culture of dead people. Could that mean his body was hidden until the culprit made it appear in the tank? Hidden? Where? Somewhere in the pool window, maybe. The culprit would have had to hide the body near the tank, and then show it during the act. Easier said than done! Was there a place on stage where the culprit could have hid the body? Not on the stage I could think of. I would oh, say it was... wait! Himiko <sighs> should know since she performed the underwater escape Still on that? Himiko, why won't you just explain it to us? By the way, Melanie, it's never the obvious first person who did it, just so you know. This is always... This is just a red herring. Because it's magic. No, maybe it really was magic. I was gonna cut him off. Shut up. Oh, it was uh, Maki. Himiko is committed to her act, but those who deal in dreams are oft liars. Why is everyone still picking on Himiko? You're all worse than a drunk dad's ramblings. We you have a drunk dad. Event. After all, it's tough being the man of the house. Man, <laughs> we gotta figure out how the trick works to find where the body was hidden. But Himiko does not wish to tell us. I mean, how we kind of know. Her act. Then let's work together to reveal the secret behind Himiko's trick! Yay! So, not real magic? It was magic! No, it was real magic. It still keep going on about that. Whoa, whoa, magic. whoa. Magic. Oops, no. let's get this. It's Himiko's curse! Her curses are really powerful! Yeah, you're playing along with this. No, you just gotta say magic! Anyway, we first need to determine how Miko performed the trick. We can't figure that out, this case is going nowhere. Well, I have a feeling it's gotta do with the tank. Water tank trick. Maybe she just flagged out and no one noticed. Maybe. Nah, she definitely would have been caught. Maybe. Perhaps the mechanism was set up on the stage. I think it's the mechanism with this one. Not this that stage. Certainly suspicious. What about that square pane of glass we found in the tank? Maybe the tank had a secret hatch. Yep, yep, that's the one. How's that go? Must be real magic! Oh my god, it's real magic! Real escape magic! Oh shit, enough about magic! 
Oh shit, two Himikos. One of them was Sumugi in disguise. No. <laughs> hey, my costumes aren't Such a pro. That's right, there was a similar wire tank in Himiko's lab. I, remember. I just let it go because I want to hear all the conversation. How did Himiko escape the water tank? How do I speed up in this one again? Just escape. It's like a video cassette. The curtain covering certainly that square pane of glass we found in the tank. I like it very much just comes out and says it. I missed the V again, damn it. Consent given. See, I'm not a degenerate male. I asked for consent. Maki is correct. There was an escape hatch on that tank. I keep forgetting about the V, I'm just thinking about hitting the words. I see. So it did have one. That's right. I discovered a similar tank in Himiko's lab. There was a panel on the side that could open. That was her escape. Mind over strength. Oh damn! I got cross with you now. That always surprises me when it happens. Oh, your logic is all wrong, Shuichi. Thanks. Hmm? What do you mean? Why is he? Oh, the camera. It's because it's a double camera. And you don't even know why you're wrong either. Typical degenerate male. Uh huh. Okay. Well, that's an interesting thing to have missed, but because I didn't know about the lying thing. I, I mean, you explained about how most. I'm gonna miss it on my first one. I think most people do. It's probably when you play the second time you can think about lying. Also, I don't want to experiment too much with the stream. I'll smash in your face with my fists of hot burning steel. Oh boy! I got cross swords. What are my choices? Ball showdown. Oh god, I forgot how to wet stair. The side of the tank being open. Uh. Doesn't have anything to do with Kimiko's escape. Wait. She didn't use oh, I forgot how to play this at first. I know she didn't do that. And now I got a punch it. Oh, I missed it. Can't let Tenko intimidate me. I have to counter her argument. I forgot how to play it. Okay, God, there. Wait a second. Before you punch me. What? <laughs> Before you punch me. Uh -huh. Because if she escaped from a hatch in the tank, the water would have gushed out with her. There would have been water everywhere. Uh, wait, no, I know which one it is. Sorry, I messed up. That wouldn't even. And that wouldn't cause everything to be soaked in water. Well, you're wrong. Oh no. I made a mistake. Oh no. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. There, that's what I want to do. Man, this one always confuses me. I thought of one thing. Try to remember how the staircase was positioned. All the way behind. It was aligned perfectly with the tank's escape hatch. Meaning, the water tank was connected to the inside of the staircase. Besides, yeah, I noticed that there was like... His body was in stairs? Knowing that, it's clear how Kimiko made her escape from underwater. There was a curtain <laughs> covering the tank during the performance. <laughs> oh man, that drawing is funny. The she looks dead. Allowing Himiko to enter the staircase from the hatch undetected. Yeah, which means that the trick has nothing to do with how he was put inside. Any water that spilled out would have simply funneled into the staircase. That would have lowered the water level. So how do you get out from the staircase? A door. Duh. The staircase also has an escape. Okay, I find a hatch, not a door. Yeah, I know the V thing. I because I keep forgetting things. It's placed so that the water would not drain from the staircase. That's why they call Dangarampa V3. In which case, a person could exit and leave water inside. Wow, you're so loud, Kibo. 
However, that person would be Jeez, Shuichi, speak up. Some traits should be left. That would explain why there was a puddle around the stairs. Yeah, I'm still not sure about the rope yet. So when Himiko came out from the stairs, her wet clothes dripped water all over. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, bitch! Caught you soaking wet and red-handed! Okay. <laughs> My magic. Judging from Himiko's reaction, you hit it right on the bulls. Wow, Shuichi, you really are low. But Himiko's clothes should have been wet when she left the water tank. She changed it. Behold, the magnificent underwater escape. Her clothes were definitely not wet. <laughs> That's because my underwater escape wasn't a trick. It was magic. Still going on about that. Oh, magic had nothing to do with why her clothes weren't wet. No magic had nothing to do with why her clothes weren't wet. She never went in. She, dropped, she changed her uniform. That's it. I mean, yeah. It's because she changed her uniform. That's fast. The dormitory is stocked with uniforms. Did you hide one behind the stage in advance? It was magic. Yeah, we're, we're hitting it on the head. She's getting annoyed. I remember seeing Himiko go to the gym this morning, carrying a uniform and a towel. Well, last we in the first game, we did have a detective with us. She was just not telling us everything at the start. Hey, Makoto, you get it, right? Makoto, you figured it out, Makoto, didn't you, Makoto? Makoto, Makoto, listen to me. I'm the detective, Makoto. Ah! Why would you say that? I see. She What's with that pose? To, she may not have had time to fully dry her hair. Was her hair wet? It's hard to tell in this game. Her short hair and hat ensured we were none the worse. Oh, I see. Himiko can't get wet, cause her body repels water. Holy shit, you're dedicated to this. Huh? Like a duck? Ducks actually do that? Himiko, come on, give it up already. Fine, you win. It's just like you said. The water tank and staircase. Oh both man, we broke her world. So I was correct. But, but that doesn't mean I used them. I didn't need them. Okay, or not. Use my magic. Yo, Peyton and Glitchy One. I don't know if that is a JoJo reference. That the pose does look JoJo y ish. Again with the magic crap. Were you dropped on your head as a kid? Oof. I don't know. Now that we understand <laughs> that the trick was Interrupted. Performed, let us move on. Yeah, we don't need we don't care about it anymore. Yes, let us proceed. Where did the culprit hide Ryoma's body? From our discussion earlier, his body could have been in the space inside the staircase. <sighs> no. No. But that's where Himiko would escape from. There's no room for two. So Himiko went in the stairs with the body? What kind of kinky shit is she into? You seem to be into the kinky shit. That seems unlikely. There isn't enough space for two people to fit in there. Yeah, the stairs are pretty cramped. It'd be hard to fit even Ryoma and Himiko in there. Even though Ryoma's so tiny. Together. She could have made the switch as she was leaving the tank. Man, you're really dedicated to putting this on her. At the same time, that is so she stupid. pulled out the body from inside the stairs. Unlikely. That way she'd have room to put herself in there. See how easy that is. I think that explains how Himiko changed places with Ryoma's body. You gonna paint us now? Wait a minute! Why did you automatically assume it was Himiko? Who else but Himiko could have done it? Yeah, I was just reading your uh, comment there. That's why I stopped for a second because it was a long... I love the f in that in the first game, you discover most of the things before a main character. The second, you are about f the same level. In the third, sometimes you do not understand the main character. Shuichi, the main character in this one. We do not understand him. I don't know. He is weird. Angie, you spent more time with Himiko than any of us. So why are you accusing her? The great Atua. You may think you're protecting Himiko. But what if she really is the culprit? We'll all die, and it will be all your fault. Atua will lose <laughs> precious devotion. That's all you care about. Are you okay with that, Tenko? Totally fine, 
fine with that. Why is the music so sappy? What? I don't care what anyone says. Mimiko would never murder someone. That's what I believe more than anything. I want to believe in her, no matter what. If I can't do that, then I'd rather just die. You're really into Himiko. So until this body takes its final breath, I'm gonna keep believing in Himiko. Why were you so shocked though, Shuichi? All right. Oh boy, we have two of them up there. Count does it count? Insect beating greet. Only one who could have switched out Ryoma's body is Himiko herself. Oh really? Are you sure about that? When Oof, Himiko punch it. was escaping the tank, she dragged out the body hidden in the stairs. Go inside the stairs. And simply switched places with it. I have no idea what I'm looking for here. Are you telling me you saw that happen? Oof. No one could have seen that. It would have occurred in the middle of the show. Uh, uh, when the tank was covered with a curtain. Uh, mm. So basically, no one saw anything. Uh, Gonta's account. I swear. Gonta's account. Yoma's corpse wasn't in the staircase. All right, I got it this time. Quit lying, you donkey lip con artist. Donkey lipped. She's not lying. Well. She's not a con artist, and she doesn't have donkey lips. Nice. Also, that Himiko and Ryoma switch places in the war, but I feel like I'm forgetting what an important point. Uh, it's uh, going to account. Definitely. No. Boom. Himiko was escaping. She dragged out the body hidden in the stairs. Oh, stairs. And simply switched places with it. Are you telling me you saw that happen? Yeah. No one could have seen that. It would have occurred in the middle of the show. Yeah. And when the tank is... was covered with a curtain. Yeah. So basically, no one saw anything. Ooh. Oh, V it. That's wrong. Counter V. V the counter. V the counter you believe in. Someone did see inside the tank. It was Gonta. Nobody. Gonta had climbed onto the stage and was looking into the tank from above. Nobody in there. Isn't that right, Gonta? That's what he yeah. said. Gonta saw down into tank, but saw no one in there. No one was in there? Yeah, no one. Guess that clue no good, huh? Very good clue, actually. No, that's actually a Hey, I said that. Because if we you would have seen the switch inside the staircase, Kimiko would have had to pull them out before she went inside. There certainly wasn't enough room in the staircase for both of them. But that means, if the tank was empty when Gonta looked, Ryoma's body must not have been hidden in the staircase. Well, I mean, you're forgetting one thing. It was magic that two people fit in the stairs. What if they squeezed into that space with Ryoma's body to avoid getting caught? Just like, you want to squeeze something up your woman hole? She hey, no she's the one who's a pervert, not me. Witnessing her at that point. For the entire stage was hidden behind a curtain. To all but Gonta, anyway. Then the culprit never would have considered hiding inside the staircase with the body. Yep. Entering the staircase after moving the body is much faster, and seems more rational, too. Then, Yoma's body wasn't hidden in the stairs? Someone better say where the fucking body was hidden, or I'm gonna start cutting throats! Holy hell, you ain't violent there. Where was Ryoma's body hidden? We need to pin that down. It's clear that it was not inside the staircase, but where? Oh, it was some, uh, the pool window. In some shape or form. That's all I know. Scratched handcuffs. Where were you hiding Ryoma's body? Uh... No. It wasn't really in the stairs, was it? Square class After table. all, there was only enough space for Himiko. On a tank. Well, how about tank behind trip. the curtain? If there was a way to enter the tank from there, then it would be... Square class paint that was at the bottom of the prod tank where Ryoma's body had appeared. The other bits of glass were shattered, but this paint remained perfectly square. What was at the bottom point of the... Piranha tank when it opened up. 
I mean, okay, all the sides were made of wood except for the front, so it had to be a square glass pane somehow. Possible. That's the only way that makes sense. Well, maybe the body was in the tank all along, but we just couldn't see it. Mm. Impossible. You need top-notch visual effects to pull that off. Top-notch visual effects. What of the effects. tank containing the piranhas? Unlikely. Away! If you put a body in there. The piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. Piranhas were... <laughs> but if the body and piranhas were separated... Yeah? Then it wouldn't have been devoured, correct? Oh. Oh. Why was he not eaten by the piranhas even though he was in the same tank? There's one piece of evidence that the crime scene... I didn't even think about that. Where were you hiding Ryoma's body? There was a pain in between them somewhere? Is that... Oh, there weren't more piranhas. There's only enough space for Himiko. I get it. Well, there were not more piranhas. I gotta agree with them. There was a way to enter the tank from there. Well, then, then the window. Would be plausible. Hold on a second here. Well, maybe the body was in the tank all along. Not in the tank. But we just couldn't see it. Oof. Impossible. You need top-notch visual effects to pull that off. Top-notch visual what of effects. The tank containing the piranhas. Mm-hmm. No way! If you put a body in there. The piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. The piranhas full. But if the body and piranhas were separate, I see V. Oh, I missed the V. God damn it! Because I didn't notice the white no the white noise stopped me. Your hypothesis is correct. The body and the piranhas. Ah, so that. Well, that means he was dragged. Basically, he was dragged through the window of the pool. This was accomplished using the square glass pane found in the tank. <laughs> Just as I thought. Using that glass pane so as a divider, a safe space could be created in the Who tank. the hell would have done that even? <laughs> I like how he's put into field position. It is in such a space that the body could be stored, separated from the piranha. And they're lucky he's so tiny. Body fell into the water tank with the piranhas? Gota knew it! What is it, Gonta? Gota was above stage when piranhas fall. Mm -hmm. That's why Gota sees something no one else could. Oh, y a new hint? When piranhas fell, Gota sees some big thing fall into water tank with them. Big thing. He's not really that big. Hey, look. You have a thing for Mono Kid. Pork Chop. F for Mono Kid. When the tower hit zero, the buzzer went off. And then... Okay, that was the bottom of the tank. I mean, you can't really see it. Oh, the suspended tank swung open in the murky water and the shadowy shapes inside. Got straight into the water tank Himiko was swimming in. Huh? Huh? So he saw something there. Now that going to think about it, going to maybe see Ryoma's body. Mm-hmm. When the piranhas dropped from the tank, I thought I saw something bigger drop as well. I think I know what Mew would say. It was probably a big piece of shit! Like the it taking a dump! The on the bottom is made completely out of glass, correct? You can see what is happening through the glass. Can you really hide a body in the tank? Nah. Even in murky water, a dead body would still be visible in a glass tank. Unless a certain something was used to obscure the body. A certain something? We all agree that the glass pane was used to separate the body from the piranhas, correct? Yeah, which bunched up the piranhas, I guess. Who would even tr think of doing that? Well, that method has the added benefit of hiding the body from view. Yeah, because it's only glass on the front. Since it's only glass on the front and the piranhas were more bunched up, how is the cover able to conceal the body in the piranha tank? Oh my god, really? Crimes piranhas, uh, piranha tank. Oh my god, what? How do I even scroll? No! That was the piranha tank, right? It's an impossible scroll for God's sake. There's a trick to the prior tank. 
We were expecting you to provide us with the explanation for that trick. Oh my god, I hate- Yeah, I'm sorry. What the hell, man? There's... Why do I have to choose for so many things here? Missing Romas. Okay, hold on. There's too much stuff here. Cram for honest. I guess the cram for honest? The cram for honest. Probably that. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> Even though I said it, I still missed it. It's just because they give you so much to choose from, I get like, nah. It looked like there were more piranhas. I noticed it right as the show started. I feel like there were more piranhas today than yesterday when we were preparing. You seem to be drooling over it. It seemed that way, but it wasn't that the actual number of piranhas increased. Oh no. They were just tighter. The glass pane divided the tank nearly in half, right? The piranhas got crowded together, making it look like there were more of them. The more densely the piranhas are packed, the harder it is to see past them. But I can see past their culture. The piranha culture. It was difficult to see the body hidden in the tank. Oh, that's how you would do it. Hey, thanks for telling us that useless detail. Not really that useless. What the heck are you saying? Actually, super useful. Sure, the lid looks a little big, but if you set it diagonally, it would fit perfectly. Who, who, which idiot is going to try and lower that into the freaking thing? Carefully. This much evidence, it seems like the body was definitely in the piranha tank. Congrats, Himiko! Now there should be no reason for anyone to I mean, they're still gonna suspect her. Mm, really? <laughs> You're not even sure? Because yeah, if you didn't switch places with the body, then you couldn't have killed him. It was magic, of course it was it magic. Means we now have other suspects. You are not cleared of suspicion just yet. Okay, but still. That's way better! It's better to have more suspects than one. That's a wonderful news, Tiniko! <laughs> Atua is happy for you. Apologize, Angie! You and your Atua better tell Himiko you're sorry right now! Atua mm -hmm. is sleeping. She went to bed angry because you all doubted him. Okay, I didn't know Atua needed to sleep. A petty ass god! No, it's okay. We shouldn't be mad at Angie. We should be mad at this crass trial, at this killing game. Well, you're not wrong. Oh, Himiko! Bless your sweet, kind heart! That's what Atua said, anyway. <laughs> she stoned the cult of Atua. It's bad that the handsome god went to bed angry, though. Himiko's still brainwashed! But I'm not giving up just yet! This is gonna be a breeze! Alright, where are we going for... where are we going now? now what are we gonna do? We're back to square one! And why are we back to square one? Because any of us could still be the culprit! Jeez! You flunk out hmm. a tard school or well, something? Well, we can, like I said, we can already eliminate the people who were in Gunta's room, actually. Nuh-uh! Not everyone! Whoa! We can narrow it down to whoever doesn't have an alibi yet. Yeah, you're right, I guess, about this one, because... Well, th th that's the thing. I think Shuichi's gonna realize something, and we'll be like, What do you realize, Shuichi? And then we'll have to figure out a way. I feel like this trials, the trials are gonna take a bit harder of a time to figure out who did it sometimes. Eh? What alibi? I guess I should have known a dumb whore pig <laughs> oh, wouldn't wow. understand. So let me explain. Dumb whore pig. Who you calling a dumb pig? Wait a minute. She didn't deny the whore part. If there's this much evidence, then there's no mistake the body was hidden in the piranha tank. But for someone to plant the body in there with such limited time is pretty tricky. It's not a trick, though. It's magic. Kokichi brings up a valid point. There's only one time the culprit could have set the scene. And that would be yesterday before nighttime, before the show this morning? Was it done before the show this morning? I guess it wasn't. Nope, wrong. They set it up this morning, someone would have caught them in the act. 
Oh, no. Fine. It was at night. It was before nighttime then. Fine. They stay before nighttime. That's it. There. I was my other, that was my other guess, but I wanted to try the morning one. Yesterday, before nighttime. It just I just figured that. Look, my logic was wrong. Okay. Ding ding ding! The ultimate detective gets it right again. After getting it wrong, of course. Wait. How do you know it was before nighttime yesterday? I know, cause witnesses. Stop asking me dumbass questions. And the questions. pool is closed that it night. It could have been solved with the process of elimination. Is it? Jeez. Fine. I'll explain it to the itty bitty pea wow. bitchlet. Oof, she, he's really going after you. <laughs> Seems like she enjoyed it. First, bitchlet. The gym was closed during nighttime, so no one could have entered. Fortnite? No one said Fortnite, Glitchy. If you try to enter the gym at night, it'll go off. You talking about my butthole? <laughs> what? <laughs> um. No, she means the alarm. After nighttime passed, morning came. But hiding the body before the show. Was... I was not prepared for the butthole thing. All right. <laughs> Impossible. Impossible. Kimiko and I were waiting in front of the gym before the morning announcement. And we have a pool window. Which leaves only one possibility. It was done before nighttime yesterday. Yeah, I had a lot of people in Gonta's room. Anyone who doesn't get this is just as stupid as the whore bitchlet over there. And she is. <laughs> okay, she's getting off on it. So the culprit placed Ryoma's corpse in the piranha tank before nighttime yesterday? Man, that was a long time to store the body. Which means he was also killed during that time frame. Yep. Yay! Now we know what time the crime happened, right? Sometime before 9 p.m. I still don't really get it, though. Right? Can we narrow down the time of death a bit more? When's night time? 9 or 10? I'm sure we can narrow it down more if we consider the source of the information. Oh my god, wait, what? Source of the information? Okay, hold on a second here. Pool, the pool rules? This? I cannot begin to imagine how that fits into the timeline of events leading to Ryoma's death. I was wrong! Oh no! What, what are you asking me? Why do you have me select every single thing? Okay, what is it I'm... Okay, F1. Show question. What clue helps turn when Ryoma was killed? Uh, Jesus Christ. Mock oh, it was uh, Kokichi's uh, account. It's Kokichi's account. Oh, see anything? I thought it was Kokichi. Oh, but I'm pretty sure it's not. God damn it. Oh no. Oh god. What is the clue that leads the Monokuma file? Hold on. No, 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 no. Oh, that's where Sagonta was. Oh, it's this witnessing Ryoma. This is Duh. If we can find out who last saw Ryoma alive, I was thinking of Kokichi. The time of death. Because when did going to say he's wasn't okay? The reason why I said Kokichi was because he was the one who gave me that info. I forgot, and that would count as a separate clue, though. Kirumi, you were asking everyone when they had last seen him, right? Yes. Was the That's my least favorite part him. of this trial is when they give you the list of all the clues and say pick one. What? Really? Really? And when was the last time Gonta saw Ryoma? Um, when Gonta was inviting everyone to insect meet and greet, so. Mm hmm. So can K Kokichi give you give us wrong info? Gonta think that was maybe 8 p.m. Nope, that's right info. If he was last seen at 8 p.m. and was killed before nighttime officially began, then we can assume the crime took place between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock Hold on, I gotta cough quickly, because I swallowed water in the wrong... Just don't want you to hear me cough. So all we must do is find someone with no alibi for that time period. Well, it's... for now we have, well, I can think of one. At least one. 
After all, most of us were detained <laughs> by Gonta then. Yeah. If I recall correctly, the only people that weren't there besides Ryoma would be Kirumi, Kokichi, Mew, and Kaito. Myself, Kaito, Mew, and also Maki. Eh, yeah, but it's not Maki. Well, Kirumi, you would tell the truth, even if it screwed you over. You saw Ryoma on the meat. On the meat bone? Shit, I thought it was the bone on the meat. I do this for everyone. It is my duty to unveil the truth, so I do not care if people suspect me. What if you were the killer? What would happen? Oh, beautiful! Whoa! Your spirit of self sacrifice is just too beautiful! And I, is that a Tua's light? I will also it just it goes away. Between 8 and 10 o'clock at night, and I was at the gym during that time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But I was only there for about five minutes. Why would you even say that, though? You're tying a noose around your neck, you know. What were you doing in the gym? I don't care if it was five seconds. It's way too suspicious that you were alone in the gym. I think the cleaning lady here is the culprit. You killed Rioma, didn't you? Yeah, we're not at the halfway point yet. Tell. We should hear what everyone has to say, right? But Man, Gontas alone. Both the people who would have been next to him are dead. But Mew, you don't have an alibi for when the crime occurred either, do you? Uh oh. Think I'm suspicious? Hey, you're the naked lady. I don't even know where the gym is. Doesn't telling such obvious lies make you more suspicious, Mew? The other two without alibis are Kaito and Maki. Let us hear your testimonies. I was in my research lab the whole time. I didn't go to the gym. Yeah, we know that. But you hate everyone. Can prove it, can it? Mm -hmm. What about Kaito? Only murderers grow out creepy <laughs> facial hair like mustaches and goatees. Hey, wait a minute. What? My goatee's not creepy. It gives me a glamorous celebrity vibe. That's not a goatee, though. Anyway, among those four, the culprit must be the one who doesn't have an The goatee is when you have a mustache that connects to the beard on your chin. That's just a pinch chin, isn't it? I apologize, but given the circumstances, it's not even count as a beard. I have no choice but to suspect you. Why are you guys suspicious of me? I've been helping the whole time! Maybe you just try to direct the investigation. Oh, wait. I remember now. I do have an alibi. Oh, really? You will see whether or not I am suspicious as the trial progresses. Oh, boy. We're gonna get noise here. No I'm not way the culprit! culprit. Alright, then. We got three of them who are angry that they're not the culprit. Oh, no. The mass pack debate is gonna start. That's where you're, what you're thinking, right? Well, you're exactly correct, buddy. But let me give you another tutorial first. Mass panic debate this time around will have loud voice dialogue. It's when one of your opponents shouts their opinion in a loud voice. That blocks out everyone's arguments. Even if you see a weak spot, you can't refute it. Oh no, what do I do then? That's what you're thinking, right? Luckily, it's just like white noise. Shut him up with your left click silencer. After that, all the arguments will be audible again. I, I felt like I couldn't even hear it. Then you just have to shoot the truth bullet at the weak spot. You know the drill. Thank you for your understanding. Alright, now you're adding white noise to the panic debate. Thanks. Kokichi's account. What am I even... Okay, the white noise is... How do I do this again? What? Right what, is really leave the gym at what is going on in this one? Are you sure you did not stay at the gym? No, in my own room. Jeez. What? You changed your story twice, I feel like. I need to sort out everyone's statements just like Kai did. I need to calm down. Focus on one at a time. Yeah, I have to. Alright. Alright. What is your alibi? I Mm-hmm. When I was running from guns, I the Mm-hmm. Things got a little heated if catch my trailer. Well, that's the womanly tricks. What's 
Shut up. Okay, I see what he did there. I need to shut him up. What is your alibi? Yeah. Did you really leave the gym at 9 p.m.? Well, this would be Kokichi's account. If Are you sure you did not stay at the gym? No, in my own room. Ah, there. That one's good. That's a nice fun fact. No, I think Kirumi is telling the truth. Kokichi's story proves it. Freaking Kaito. He's yelling and everything. Changed his stories too much. Right when I got to the entrance hall, Kirumi spotted me. That was right after I left Gontis lap, so it was right around 9 p.m. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking if I was up to no good. She kept talking, finally let me go at 10 p.m. when nighttime rolled around. A whole hour? Well, only the first half hour was a lecture, then we played tag for the other half. Kokichi met Kirumi at 9 p.m. and they were together until nighttime. Yeah, we, if it happened between 9 and 10, right? Gonto went to the gym to catch Himiko and Angie, five minutes yeah. before 9 o'clock. After I left Gonta's lab, I ran into Kirumi. I'm pretty sure Kirumi stayed at the gym five minutes till nine o'clock. This information could have been told to us beforehand. Hey, you didn't ask about I it. I forgot. Tell you. I definitely didn't oh, keep you. secret to make the trial more interesting. That's Kokichi. Forgot? It seems far more plausible that you are telling another lie. Unlike robots, we meatbags can't pull out our memories from our hard drive. Oof. He's gonna keep sticking it to him. Is that supposed to offend me? Your irrationality fills me with pity. If I am the culprit, that would mean I killed Ryoma within five minutes. Highly unlikely. And it didn't happen at the gym anyway. Transported him to the gym and hid him in the piranha tank. This seems highly unlikely. If you called Ryoma out to the gym and killed him there, you wouldn't need to move him. All you would have to do is hide him in the piranha tank. He wasn't killed in the gym. Gonto was in there was nowhere to drown him. The gym to capture Angie. Are you claiming I took advantage of that and called Ryoma for a rendezvous at the gym? Um, that would be pretty difficult. We should probably look at others. Those mono kids are uh, jumping around here. Maybe someone snuck into the gym while Kirumi and I were busy talking. You're assuming it happened in the gym, the death. The only ones capable of that are the other three with no alibis. Mio, Kaito, and Maki! He's basically turned into the Nagito of this game. Ah, you're including me too? Uh, why am I getting so turned on? But there's actually one person we can rule out of the suspects list. Mm-hmm. Right? There's one person who's totally not suspicious. Say who it is already. Yeah, you're not cleared yet, Kaito. One person can be eliminated as a suspect according to Kokichi. I'd say Mew. Let's be talking about the figure he saw. They certainly would have an alibi. <laughs> I, uh, we need to pin down who that was. The key to that fact lies in Kokichi Gonta Mew's statements. According to what we know, the figure Kokichi saw must be... Mew. It's Mew. That's it! You're talking about Mew, right? Well, I mean, Kibo is a robot, so he can do two at once. He can probably shoot, he probably has different speakers. Uh, Mew? Not me? Bro! Yeah, you can take her off the list. She actually has an alibi. She's an exhibitionist or something. Suck it, nerds! Nerds? Too bad Jevil isn't here. Wait a sec, since when does she have an alibi? That was her womanly charms. There's no other possibility. Oh yeah, I did see something odd while Kirumi was lecturing me. Something odd? I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. It's too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. A girl walking around half-naked? I know, you wouldn't do that. 
We don't think. What else could it be? But the horny exhibitionist Mew. We can't just jump to conclusions like that. He just saw a shadow, right? Unless you like to cross dress. That could have been anyone walking around in women's underwear. Even me. Oh my god. Shut up, Kaito. That'd be a whole different issue. No, it's Mew. Without a doubt. Mew and Gonta's statements prove it. Yeah. Oh, Gonta see Mew, but Gonta's face get red hot, so Gonta no could bring her. The face got red. Got the face got hot, and you were hot on her trail, right? No, um, she was her what she call it, secret woman weapon, and then. Oh, uh, well, I uh, had had to use my secret woman weapon, and let's just leave it at that. The fact that Gonda can say that. It sounds like Gonda got an eye full of hmm. What? Why the heck were you in your underwear, Mew? Well, because, you know, I'm pretty stacked, so... That's not the only reason. I figured I'd take my clothes off, so Gota would be too flustered to touch me. What do you think about it? Also, looks like she's wearing bondage gear. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it, you cockroaches! Someone put, punted Vioma into a swimming pool at night, they would be breaking the rules. It would mean, it would be... I mean, it would be... But... <sighs> Uh, no, because Krona, what uh, Monokuma said was that no one alive. I think the alarm only goes off if someone alive goes in there. He kind of set a hint for that. A dead person can be in there. Anyway, Eiffel. The blood rushed to both of Gonta's heads because he got super embarrassed. Uh, you seem like you're embarrassed. You seem more like you got caught than anything else. I think she was actually just an exhibitionist. Should I just keep it on here for a while so I can get banned or get flagged? All right, there we got an Eiffel. Mew was in her underwear, and Gonta got weird feeling. Weird feeling, huh? So Gonta ran away. Yeah, this looks like she got caught. Well, when you got the body of a goddess, it's only natural to want to flaunt it. I show my panties to the boys all the time. I don't think you do. And I mean all the time. All the time. So you're welcome, Gonta. Think of me during your next tug session. Most of that was unintelligible nonsense, but it was certain <laughs> that Mew has an actual alibi. Robot does not understand what it means to get flustered by a woman's body. Yep, it took a while, but at least we got everyone's alibis cleared up. Well, so far we're missing two. We should remember all of this in case we need to recall these events again. That's a weird thing to say. Oh, that's what you mean. All the alibis necessary. That leaves Kaito and Maki as the only ones with no alibis. Then one of them must be the culprit. But which one, I wonder? I saw. I looked quickly, so I had the B and the witch went together, so I saw a bitch one. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch the culprit, bye. Hold up! Don't decide just yet! Two prime suspects, Kaito and Maki. But something inside me doesn't want to accuse Kaito. I want to believe Kaito until he's proven guilty. I'll trust him. Uh, maybe we should determine the sequence of events. The culprit. You know what? You last time you trusted someone, it didn't end well. No, we should do something more fun. And I have the perfect idea. What do you mean you have an idea? What? We narrowed it down to two people, and one of those two is the culprit, right? Since we don't have to randomly accuse each other, finding the truth just got much easier. So let's find the truth with a more effective method. Effective, you say? I like your... Is this I don't know. Method? I like your way of thinking, Kokichi. If one of them is the culprit, then the innocent one should know who the guilty one is. Yeah? It's technically true, but that's assuming they're going to even tell the truth. Because if you know you're not the culprit, then you can just accuse the other person. That's... that doesn't even make sense. Yes, that is true. That doesn't... why is she still looking like that? Which means there is one person among us who definitely knows who the culprit is. This is flawed logic. To that someone who knows, do your best to convince us. Okay. Work harder. That's what you mean. <laughs> Work harder, slave. Have the 
two argue for their innocence. That's how we'll decide our culprit. Give me a mass panic time again. Even if we did that, wouldn't they just pass the blame back and forth? I don't know, we have to find arguments, holes in their argument. And... <laughs> huh? You guys talk about cooperation and teamwork, but you're all afraid. Oh you're shit. You're too scared to point your fingers at others. So you hide behind the word trust. Kokichi's getting serious. You know something's wrong. How do you expect to find the culprit when you're all worried about each other's feelings? If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Okay, first we corner Kokichi. Then we go for the real culprit. Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of deceit. Wow. He was into that one. If we want to find the liar, I suggest that the two suspects argue against each other. What's with this voice? More pointless deductions. All we need is for them to fight for their lives. Let's host an argument that's totally not boring but super fun. Wow, amazing! Working as the culprit in their lives when we find a contradiction. We'll scare the culprit until they screw up! That's how a true class trial works. Oh, how would you know? Right, Monokuma? <laughs> a development like that would liven things up a bit! You talk to Monokuma easily too... Well, you talk to Monokuma too easily. Yep, I totes agree. Totes? You're agreeing with Monokuma? Just whose side are you on? On your side, I don't want to die either, you know. That's why we need to take this seriously. A hot debate to smoke out the lies. Smoking. And how do you expect us to start this? If you guys need some help getting started, I can give out the first topic. Oh, nice. Oh, motive video. First topic is he has this. one. Ta -da! Who does he even have? Just any cup's pad, but the one given to our latest victim, uh -huh. Ryoma. When we started investigating, I went straight to his room to borrow it. That's why we couldn't find it. Did the culprit even hide it? So, it wasn't the culprit who took the video from his room. It was you. And the reason why I brought it out just for this occasion is... Because one of these two had Ryoma's Moda video. Dun dun dun! But... Here's the thing though, like were they randomly scattered or so like Shuichi had a Kaitos and R Ryoma had someone's, but who would have had Ryoma's? One of these two had it? How do you know? How do you know? And for us to figure that out, we need to know who this motive video belongs to. Borrow it, yes, pork shop, borrow it. By that he means he Take keeps it as supreme everyone. leader. Whose motive video did Ryoma have? Take a guess. The motive video that Ryoma had was a Kaitos or Makis? I should know the I should know the answer. Well, there would be Maki. Because why we had Kaitos? That's it. It was Maki's motive video, right? How did you ever guess? Oh, I know, I know. It's because the motive video that you have belongs to Kaito. Process of elimination wins again. The obvious answer was Maki, right? Is that true, Shuichi? Unless he thought that Ryoma had it, I don't know. Yes, you're right. I don't know. And what about that? Just because Ryoma had my motive video. That doesn't make me the culprit. Is she wearing a musical... What's with her pin in the hair? It almost looks like a musical note, but I don't know much about musical notes. <laughs> Finally, you said something! This is how a debate should be. I only brought up the motive video to make you talk. <laughs> Has nothing to do with anything. Okay, now that we got the party rolling, let's get you and Kaito ready to... He's argue. like, that had nothing to do with anything. I just wanted to hear someone talk. If you're not the culprit, then that means the other one is. Got that? Let's start this extreme death debate. Tear up the other's lies. Rip each other apart. Wait just a minute. 
What are you trying to... Quit screwing around! We don't need to debate who's a culprit! I'm not the culprit! That's for sure. Oh, yeah? Which means... Oh, wait. Maybe Kokichi is wrong. Maybe he... Maki isn't the culprit either! Hmm? What do you mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> Cookie's just like, what? <laughs> huh? Really? You're saying neither of you are the culprit? Then what would be the point of this whole debate? Who cares about that? All I know is that neither me or Maki are the culprit. It's just a hunch I've got. Y hunch? We're not going off hunches. Uh, You're not a detective. Uh, Hunch? Wow, he's even gotten uh, Kokichi surprised. Are you being serious? You do know all our lives are on the line here, right? And you're betting our lives on just a hunch? You're doing it on a hunch? Are you just crazy? Hmm, you don't get it. This isn't just any hunch. I don't know why I did that even. This is an official hunch from the Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. Nice. Are you using astrology? How illogical. This is even more difficult to comprehend <laughs> than Kokichi's Man, antics. Kokichi and Kaito switch place, but they both start with K's. I'm totally not serious. You can't be that stupid, right? No, he might actually be that stupid. Damn idiot! Idiot. You're too a damned idiot! <laughs> oh, too a damned. Hey, don't call me an idiot! Anyway, me and Maki aren't the culprit. There's no doubt about it. I believe in Maki. You what? You believe in her? But based on I what? told you it's a hunch. Huh? I don't gotta base it on anything. I thought you were a scientist. No the clues point. In the end, the only thing that matters is what I believe, right? Whether I believe or not, whether I want to believe or not. The scientists, people. That's the only thing that matters. So, you do not have any evidence. Only a baseless conjecture. But I totally get where he's coming from, because I want to believe in Himiko too! Yeah, well, we're past that, so what you think doesn't matter. Want to believe, huh? Yeah, I think I understand that. Yeah, you had that problem too, didn't you? Wanting to believe in someone is a beautiful act, yes. However, it is a sentiment that has no place in a class trial. He's an idiot after all. It's okay to be idiot, <laughs> as long as you believe in people. Be gentlemen at least. Guys, I said don't call me an idiot. It really hurts my feelings. He, <laughs> it's true. That's not what a class trial is about. You're supposed to think logically. You can't let your feelings into it. It's absurdity. Total absurdity. But then again, that absurdity saved me before, right? Why? Why do you trust me, Kaito? There's a chance that I'm the cult. I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? What? Isn't that why you believe in Ka you believed in Kaide? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the end, but if I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in people I want to believe in. If I can can trust my logic, maybe I should trust Kaito's feelings too. Yeah. It'll work out work out in the end, so. I'll believe in Maki as well. Hmm. What? He specifically said Maki. That's our Kaido, right? Making us think with our hearts. You too? How could the ultimate detective believe in someone without proof? But there's no proof linking Maki or Kaido to this crime either. I believe in innocent until proven guilty. For now, they are innocent. Right on, Shuichi! I knew I picked a good sidekick! Uh, and by the way, I might be the ultimate detective, but I'm in training. Mm -hmm. I told you that, didn't I? I'm just an apprentice, I'm not a real detective. What's he gonna say? How do you plan to get closer to the truth without suspecting either of them? Unless you have evidence to the contrary, these two will remain suspect. So I just have to turn it around, right? Uh-huh. Well, you're finally speaking up. Huh? It's not like I owe that idiot a favor or anything just because he defended me. But that hopeless idiot may have encouraged me a bit. Seriously! Enough's enough! 
Stop calling me an idiot! Nope! What are you trying to say, Maki? I didn't want to say anything, but I can't stay silent forever. So I'll tell you. Oh? Tell us what? I am curious. I met up with Ryoma during nighttime yesterday. That's an odd thing to say. At nighttime? You see, I want to go into this weird, like, okay. I came up with a weird theory, okay? And I didn't want to say this. What if... What if they had some weird play going on where she felt like she needed to take care of a child and so she was like taking care of Ryoma because he looks like a child type, like some sort of weird child play thing going on between those two? I was kind of thinking of that earlier on, but now I didn't really want to say it because it made it be weird, but now I think it's the time to say it. Then we have no basis for suspecting only Kaito and Maki. That's right. Mm -hmm. Everyone suspected them, because they no have alibis for those times. That means me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. No, that means you're still suspects. Let's fuck it around. You think I'm dumb enough to swallow that line of crap? Yes, this seems too convenient. But why did Maki wait until now to mention that? <laughs> It's totally obvious! Maki's so desperate that she has to lie! Was that a lie? Did Maki lie to us? It's true, we don't have all the facts. Why would Maki say that now, all of all times? If I trust her innocence, I should believe her statement. But should I? We're going to a midpoint. Yep. Well, people, I'm going to end it here, I think. Yes, I shall save. I will save it. And that's where I'm going to end the stream, I think. I mean, yeah, there's reasons why she won't let anyone in. Those reasons, I don't really know yet. But... I don't know, it's just something I thought. I just thought it was weird, because he's kind of like a child-sized person. Uh, she's not the killer, though. But, yeah, it was just something I was thinking of. All right, people. Um, Let's see now. F1. Oh, I'm not in the goddamn... Thanks, pork chop. How's this even... Intermission. Oh, it just changes the style of the date. I see. All right, that's how I want to display. All right, yeah. Makoto Nagi's execution is like 40 minutes long. Better to save it for next trial. Yes, you're going to keep saying Makoto Nagi all the time, man. All right. Thanks for joining me, Lis. Lis. I keep forgetting what the pronunciation is. And yep. So I'll try maybe Wednesday-ish. I'll see if I can get a stream in Wednesday and finish off the trial. Uh, but it won't be announced until Wednesday evening, my time. So you guys will be night for some of you. All right. Thanks for watching. Next time, we'll figure out the killer. So long.